Down on. <laughs> Are we serious? <laughs> That's okay. We could put the countdown on now.
What's up, you propaganda pussies out there? <laughs> Who's ready to watch Joe Biden and the political left try to pump their propaganda right into our chlamydia clam that is now the United States? You just called us all a giant vagino. A chlamydia clam. Chlamydia clam. Mm -hmm. But I know what that means. Well, listen, this country is sick. It's a euphemism. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Is it? I don't know, man. D do we have like the chimera effect as well? Could be. Ah, you know what? I That'd think be so because the same apparatus they used to just... basically install the emperor that we have now, <laughs> <laughs> they used in, in Kukafornistan probably oh, for a couple of elections. They probably used them over in, in Europe. Because there's some there's some people that were elected that I have no idea how the hell they they got there. Like when Trudeau <clears throat> got reelected after appearing several times, from what I understand, in uh, brownface and yeah, yeah, all that kind of yeah, yeah. Business. People got people but, gotta yeah. vote for that when everyone rules, hates that, right? Rules for thee, none for me. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like we have another perfect example of that coming up later in the show. We're the ones who fight moacisms. Sure. Hashtag Uncle Tim. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And by the way, I'm Blake because my my host, my co-host, keeps just forgetting to introduce me. It sucks, man. I, I thought that for once on my birthday you'd remember. Oh, it's right. Your oh, birthday. Yeah. yeah, I fell out of the vaginal turd sack 38 years ago today. Happy vaginal turd day, number one. And number two, I hope you didn't tear nothing on the way out. No, they had to cut me out because I was nine and a half pounds ah. coming out of a five-foot-tall woman. Yeah, you know, I've yeah. you've always had a big head. You're a mama wrecker. Well, I, I was also breached, too. And when I was a kid, I had Dude, a big He didn't ass. want to come out, man. Big ass. He wanted to talk about, like, <laughs> no. No, I don't want to. No, I had to write this. Uh, no, I've already done this. No, ah, ah, they're cutting me out. Ah. And I was kid number four. Wow. I was kid number four, and I wrecked my mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you know, you're you're. Who's the youngest one above you? Uh, my brother Glenn. He is about nine and a half years older than me. So something says that you were either a late night indulgence or a. Alcohol-related incident. Upon request only. Yeah. Now I am the uh, the uh, the byproduct of a misguided belief that you can't get preggers on your period. Nine months later, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you know if it bleeds, it breeds, right? That's absolutely. Well, <laughs> kind of, I don't really like that one. Well, that doesn't happen in in the United States anymore, but there are some. Stunning and brave cultures and other areas of the world with their nice fashion statement. <laughs> that that uh, are I'm all about saying. that. Um, religion of peace. They're all about that. Stunning and brave. Uh, speaking of stunning and brave, though, <sighs> before we dive face first into the, uh, <laughs> the porta potty explosion that is now our government, I do have some good news. We have some good news. Okay. Police officer who made, well, not this part isn't the good news. Police officer who made viral TikTok video mocking LeBron James suspended. All right. And is there any particular reason why he wasn't doing anything wrong? Oh, hang on, hang on. He is in uniform. His name is on his shirt. And, he, and he's got his badge right there with his badge number. Oh, so it's like code of military justice sort of thing like uniform. Well, technically you're not supposed to do political bullshit while in uniform, at least in the military. I don't know if this city Well, technically has... this isn't political. You're right, it's not. Technically. If you guys haven't seen the video, we can throw it on here for you guys cuz this is hilarious. And by the way, I hate LeBron James. Dispatch have arrived at that disturbance. We have LeBron call my cell phone right away, please. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. No, can you put the knife down, please, sir? Sir, no, 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 sir, don't stab please, it. Sir, no, please. no, stop stabbing. Stop. Oh, hold on, hold on, it's LeBron. LeBron, hey, you got to me again. <laughs> Listen, I'm out here at this disturbance call, and there's a guy trying to stab another guy with a knife. What do you think I should do? That's Why does that matter? Lie. Okay, uh, well, they're both black. One guy's trying to stab another guy with a knife. Deadly force is completely justified. Uh-huh. I see. So you don't care if a black person kills another black person, but you do care if a white cop 
kills a black person, <laughs> even if he's doing it to save the life of another black person. I mean, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but then again, you are really good at basketball, so I guess I'll take your word for it. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, LeBron. Michael Jordan's the GOAT. What? Nothing. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so they suspend this guy without pay. Yep. They're probably... Only for um, a week, thankfully. It was just a week. Well, hang on. Um, they're, they're, listen, whenever they suspend you without pay in the police department, that means the 30-pound brains calling the shots are looking for ways to, to basically fire you. Yeah. Well, or simply just placate the outrage mob. Not like we've had a stunning and brave verdict where one dude gets three counts levied against him for the death of one other dude or anything. Yeah, who's it's on? not like we've watched the complete and utter perversion of our entire system over Which the last year. I will be covering in my next layer episode. What? What in the butt, butt, baby? <laughs> but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You Here guys are going to love oh, yeah, this. I love this. More than $75,000 raised overnight for police officers suspended for viral LeBron James video. But that was before channels like The Quartering Headed picked up. this up. Let's check out what the number is now. $133,964. just 127 20 minutes ago. I know. Before the stream, we checked it. It was at 127 It's jumped another $6,000 just in 10 minutes. All right. Whoever is hooked up to this GoFundMe, take the money now because they're going to shut that shit down. Oh, yeah. They're going to they're gonna do everything they can. They are going they to shut that shit down. Yeah. Get your money. Not like they did that to Rittenhouse or anything, right? You know what would really be cool? Is they suspend this guy with pay, he gets half a million dollars and buys a fucking boat, a house, and a jeep, <laughs> and sits out there and goes, ah! I would love that. I did put a link in the chat for you guys. That's why you saw me click over to the chat window there. So if you guys do want to donate to him, I know he made a TikTok video, and TikTok is I, yeah, know, I personally, st stunning and brave Chinese spying app. But I, I don't really listen. I don't watch any TikTok stuff or open it on any platform that I have no, any sensitive information on. No, I've I've voluntold already to, to be given away my data to all these freaking big tech. Ass hats on the internet, and I'm not going to give it to China voluntarily. Suck a dick! Suck a dick! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. we got to do that song, man. Oh, we will. We will. It's going to happen, I it's promise. Gonna happen. It's going to happen. So, all right. Beijing button. There we go. Uh, uh, right. I don't know if I have enough booze for this, man. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to go full Jimmy Bones tonight talking about this shit I'm, I'm even drinking the same whiskey i didn't even know that he was doing a state of a union yesterday until yesterday Otherwise, well, i didn't hear anything about it i know i well, i found out about it because i got the notification on youtube that crowder was doing a stream <laughs> live fact checking it i was like oh that ought to be interesting yeah we could have jumped out our asses and actually did a live stream at the same time i mean if you want to know just how amazingly invigorating this was of an experience i mean just take a look at ted cruz ted cruz busted for falling asleep during biden's joint address <laughs> i would do the same thing in fact i'm gonna be on, i'm gonna be honest with you they would have to you know if i was the senator oh. and i was in that chamber and the president this particular emperor was in the room they would have to escort me out because I would have nothing good to say. Well, no. Nothing. And honestly, though, I'm pretty sure that was the impetus for this decision. Pelosi only allowed 200 people to attend Biden's speech. Most of the people who were shunned were Republicans. And I love this bit from the headline. And this is why we use the Gateway Pundit so much. Don't They don't want loud noises to trigger Joe's dementia. <laughs> Uh, no, no amendment is absolute. It's corn pot. He's come back for me. Somebody please pull on my leg here so I can run three feet before I fall over. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And the chamber holds 1,600 people. All of these mother fornicators who have sold our country down the road to multinationals, 
<laughs> they all got the vaccine before anybody else did. Long before. And we're being told that that's the only way to return to normal. They got the vaccine long before the general population, number one. I just... Number two, I certainly don't want to see anyone having a vaccine injury or exactly. any, any bad side effects. But if there is a God, he will only have negative effects for the members of the House and Senate and, and the other... Uh, Stunning and elected, or stunning and uh, in, you know, in in placed people. Stunning and brave. Hmm. And uh, let's let that uh, let that sink in. <laughs> now I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't watch it last night because I have shit to do. Mm -hmm. You know, work that has to be done. I was working on our new episode about uh, midlife crises that's coming out this weekend, and other stuff that. You know, we'll let's just call it an early birthday present. <laughs> Whatever, man. But I would much rather be doing than listening to this demented old fucker talk to me about how I'm privileged and I need to give it up. <laughs> it's not going to happen, you perverted kid-sniffing mother fornicator. <laughs> not going to happen. Kid-snickler. Yeah. <laughs> but you can tell that the media was having a really hard time with this one. Because instead of actually talking about anything that he says... Most of them are focused on this bullshit. Biden says it's about time two women are behind him at a joint address to Congress. And there are loads of articles like this. I'll have to see if I can bring up a foot later. Two women behind Biden. <laughs> uh, you know, for the first time since, you know, that, that time at Woodstock, I'm guessing. But, you know, historic first, Biden flanked by two women. Biden, it's about time two women back the president. Joe Biden flanked by two women for speech to Congress. It's about time Biden delivers speech alongside two women. Okay, are we going to talk about any of the radical shit that he said? Are we going to talk about oh, any of his policies, any of his plans? We're going to get to that. Four the, trillion dollars. The two women uh, flanking him. I'm sure one of them was uh, pulling his pud. The other one was finger banging his, his poo hole. Oh, yeah. that's how they keep him upright. <laughs> see, see what, now when they don't have him there, you know, the finger thumb jack in his shit box. That's when he falls up a single flight of stairs four times. Well, you know, there is a hand up his ass because he's a sock puppy. <laughs> He's the stunning and brave emperor of the United States now. Yeah, because he sure as hell wasn't elected. He was, he was what, emplaced. Yeah. You know, former Vice President Joe Biden. That's what I call him because that is the last office that he legally held. You know what? I don't even know that they actually legitimately elected that guy back in the day. Him and uh, stunning Obama. I don't know. Oh, it's bad news bears. <laughs> We're going to get to a list of the, there's basically just like a five bullet point gist of what he covered, but this one is my personal favorite. Oh, God. Because it's all vacant sloganeering bullshit anyway. We have to do more than just build back better. We, we, we have to build back better. <laughs> all right. Does he think that when you square something, it's going to get bigger? I mean, there's only 200 people in there compared to how many there should be. And yet we're supposed to believe that this flaming idiot got 81 million votes. We can't stop now. We're in competition with China and other countries. To oh. I thought we oh, weren't. I thought we weren't, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're bankrolling you and your crack whore, your crack whore son. Yeah, both. Who knows? Crackhead, crack whore. Who knows about his wife? Oh, I should be talking about his wife. Nah, I don't care. I don't know, man. I, I don't the 21st care. century. We're at a great inflection point in history. Inflection point? We have to do more than just build back better. We build back, we have to build back better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This wow. build back better bullshit, that is just rephrasing Trump's make America great again. Yeah, which was taken from Reagan. So like nothing's original anymore, man. This is like this is like the Disney of politics. Oh, I'm t you know what? I like that slogan, and if he had to steal it from Reagan, that's yeah, yeah. fine with me. Yeah, the, the, the Force Awakens is totally not the same movie as The New Hope. It's the best movies anybody's ever seen. Nobody's ever seen a movie like The Force Awakens. 
Oh, oh, there's a chick, and she's stupid. All right, fuck it. <laughs> Good times. That's my attempt at doing like a sideshow, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that guy dead now? You know, there's a there's a gift that we need. We need to have somebody deep fake Joe Biden's like Simpsons face onto Sideshow Bob and then just watch him in that parking lot full of rakes where he just steps <laughs> and they keep hitting him in the face over. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody can do that, that would be my birthday present. That'd be fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Ugh. I don't even want to talk about this, man. But I mean. But this is, I, I mean, from what I was able to see going through, looking at the highlights, you've got sloganeering about basically everything that the government is not supposed to be involved in. Okay. So, uh, schools. Uh, well, we need to fund schools. Oh, we need no. to give more money to our schools because education and the children are our future, <clears throat> and they smell so good. Don't get me started on this whole school thing, man. Uh, no, 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 no. We need to get started on the whole school thing because, you see, the reason why people tune in is to see Pop get spun up. Okay. So do it. All right. First of all. <laughs> and keep drinking. <laughs> uh, mm. Let's see. Oh, uh, he's rocking back and forth. I used to go on my roof every Halloween and watch hundreds of buildings burn down in Detroit. Uh, I lived in Oak Park just across 8 Mile. Yeah, and I used to have watch parties up there where I have like my friends up there drinking cokes and eating candy bars and shit. <laughs> All right, number one. Number one. All right, number two. I remember probably somewhere between six and eight huge scandals of the school district of Detroit embezzling or losing accounts of huge amounts of cash. Huge Shocker. amounts of cash. Uh, listen, my mother graduated from Cooley High School in 1964. That was like the top 15 in the nation. It is a burned out Hulk now. People go in there to steal chairs out of the auditorium. It is literal. It, it's probably haunted. We should probably go there. If yeah. I well, we'd go around and get shot and stabbed and <laughs> burned to death with no a wonder crack it's pipe. It's so haunted. Holy shit! But it is absolute horseshit. And uh, okay, and another thing: Detroit has been run by minorities, basically the African American community, since the. It has been far mid, left since the sixties and seventies. No, no, no. Since like nineteen seventy four. Yeah, long time. All right, so all they do now is bitch about how their their schools are falling apart, and they don't they don't have enough money, and every, it, it's it's always someone else's fault but theirs. Of course, they cannot manage their money. They cannot manage their school district. I don't even know if anyone over in there is making valid decisions anymore. Why they still have four hundred thousand people living within the, the city boundaries of Detroit is beyond me. It's a waste of space. Well, th uh, there are whole areas that are torn down now that are just meadows that used to be buildings. Yeah, or if they're not torn down yet, they're in the middle of just decomposing. There's a lot of decomposing stuff, <laughs> but I I remember in like the '80s, I you know I would set my watch to you know the alarm, like you know I'd be over there doing my thing in Greek in Greek town and beep beep. Beep, beep. Oh no! I need to get out of here. I'm not letting the, I'm not letting the sun set on this ass anywhere south of eight mile. No, no, no. I'm serious. That place is a shithole, and a lot of those other blue those blue states that have those shitty cities that are going to shit now, with all the rioting and peaceful, fiery protests, they're gonna go down the same road. Yep, the exact same road. And what is Joe Biden's idea? Yeah, I need money. Where? If money was the answer, all of these Democrat crap holes, or Democrat holes, we can call them, Detroit, D.C., St. Louis, all of them would have the best school districts in the country because they all get more federal funding than virtually any other school. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Call it what it is. Shit. Shit. Oh. I'm trying to get his band. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. You fucking me up. Show, show the amount of money that Detroit gets. I don't have that. Oh, you don't have that? No, I don't. Oh, okay. It, the, that kind of stuff. I mean, we were just kind of talking about they, it beforehand. Like, I thought like they got like basically their 15th in the state for the amount of federal Oh, yeah, yeah, get. that kind of thing. I said Detroit, Washington. Oh, let's see. Federal funding. Here we go. Yeah, so let's take a quick look here. Yeah, out of hundreds of school districts in the state of Michigan, Detroit's is the state's 15th best funded larger school district. Okay. Like I said earlier, $15,891 per pupil. What the hell are they doing with all that money? Because you go to some of those schools, they don't have windows, they don't have equipment for any extra school activities. Uh, they're short on computers, everything. They're skimming off the top, and yeah, they're that taking money it home is for walking themselves. out the back door, and nobody's doing nothing about it. And you get what you get. It's you going know, out the back door of the school, and it's going in the back door of the hooker in the form of cocaine. Them. That, that, that very well could be. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Especially Just saying. When, I guess especially when like women are getting blown in, blown up their ass. <laughs> hey, I've seen Wolf of Wall Street. I know what's up. And you know how he did that? You know how he how he blew the, the cocaine up the hooker's buttholes? Why, why do I need to know this? You need to know this because he did it with a drinking straw. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh, my God. It was a good segue. I should have prepared better for it. It's my bad. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Move along. Move along. Uh, so what was the next uh, bit of bullshit that he took? Of course. Oh, yeah. $15 an hour All minimum right. wage. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Yeah, because that's never backfired anywhere. All right, anywhere. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. <clears throat> the reason that they need to push a $15 an hour minimum wage is simply this. They have exported all of the jobs that gave a living wage over the past 40 plus years. And now you have people like looking around going, well, why can't I make a living working at a job? Because they sent them overseas. Period. End of story. Yeah. And now you're going to have the government try to, you know, basically use emotions to call the shots on financial shit and economics. And that is basically borderline socialism. And socialism has never succeeded. No. Uh, <laughs> just saying. You know, and I think Seattle was the first city, oh, yeah. the first major city to do it. That took a huge hit. A huge so, hit. So many people left. Because it's the same thing that happened when Bernie Sanders was told that he had to pay his, uh, his staff $15 an hour. He fired a bunch of them and cut the rest of their hours. Because at the end of the day... Money talks and... Time equals money. Oh, you forgot money talks and bullshit yeah. walks. Risk right? equals award, and money talks and bullshit walks. Oh, okay, so that's at the end. I'm sorry. I, I skipped to the end. It's a bad habit. I read a lot of mysteries. What do you want from me? Just saying. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious. $15 an hour minimum. Yeah, because that's going to fix everything in a country that's already plowed under from Democrat lockdowns. When they, that that when, took a record low unemployment and skyrocketed it to the fucking listen, heavens. Like, well, First of all, all right, we already have a, a huge problem with the economy because it's been crushed by this, this scan, scamdemic. All right, so uh, what are we going to do when they have the federal minimum wage and, like, Every of the, I mean, most of the small business are going to have to either severely scale back or close. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do then? We're already on the verge of losing almost half of our small businesses. I think we country. have a third that are never coming back. Yeah. W without small businesses, this country will collapse. Yes. And when that happens, there'll be blood to be had by all. Oh, it's good time. And we got to talk about this again. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, course, first, are you going to talk about little uh, horny head guy? Yeah. Mr. Uh, Left-wing anarchist? Joe Biden calls January 6th the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. No mention of almost a full year of burning, looting, and murdering. 
which didn't stop when they got the verdict that they wanted. And it didn't stop when, it's you know, gonna, stunning and brave most popular president ever was elected it's either. It's never going to stop. It's not going to stop until you put people under the boot. I, I, I'm serious. You're killing me, Smalls. They, they got a taste for it. They're going to keep going. I, I love this here. Worse than the 9-11 attacks? Mm -hmm. Worse than Pearl Harbor? Yeah, four people died. Every single one of them was a Trump supporter. And only one was murdered. Yes. And that was by cops. The same people that the burning, looting, and murdering thugs claimed to hate and wanted to fund. But when he shoots a white Trump supporter who happened to be a veteran who served her country, that's perfectly fine. In fact, Congress will stand up and applaud yeah, for that. It's not even a speed bump. And the DOJ says, there's no crime here. We're not going to investigate this at all. There's no reason to, because after all, she's white, so no one gives a shit. Yep. Thank you for playing. Don't pass go. Don't collect your $200. Nothing. Ugh. So we're going to take you through some facts. Here we go. About January 6th. This for is those why of you, I love this channel. For those of you who may not know. This is why I love this channel. January 6th was a propagandized. And yes, I did flat out steal this from somebody, but I love how succinct it is. It's been four months since the riot, and the media's initial narrative still carries the most weight despite being completely debunked. Let's correct it. Trump did not incite a riot. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your vote heard today. CNN and the mainstream media called it inciting violence. If that's inciting violence, then Maxine Waters is straight up declaring World War III. Yeah, that's exactly what she did. Let's just be— She's done it several times. Just a bit. The timeline. Now, this is where things get really interesting. If we are expected to believe that Trump directly incited the violence, we got to be dealing with some time-traveling, Star Trek transporter-using mother <coughs> fornicators. Uh-huh. Trump begins the speech at noon. The protesters arrived at the Capitol at 1245. That's a 45-minute walk, according to GPS coordinates. And you think you might have been able to make it faster, but you're also talking about a square full of people that's like hundreds of thousands thick. Oh, all right. So yeah. getting someplace in 15 minutes with that many people is not going to happen. Yeah, I could have done it, but <laughs> I'd have to like knock people over and shit. That would have been mean. And you're not mean, are you? Oh, no. Are you kidding? I was me I'm a mean, not a nice guy. <laughs> you crazy drunk uncle. I am. 1.09 p.m. Capitol was being overrun and efforts were made to call in the National Guard, which was suggested by the FBI prior to the day and was turned down directly by the Capitol Police and Nancy Pelosi herself. I wonder why. 1.11. Trump's speech ends. And he called for everybody to peacefully and patriotically walk over there. The Capitol was breached at 1.50 p.m., so still not enough time to actually get there. 1.56 p.m., the earliest that Trump's speech attendees could have possibly arrived. So the people who were influenced uh, were influenced independently of Trump, they had to have left far before his speech concluded or before it even began. Or they were staged prior. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, pre-planning and bad actors. The FBI knew there was a potential for violence, yet the Capitol Police rejected the security help. John Sullivan recorded himself entering the Capitol and posed as a journalist when interviewed on CNN. His role was more than a journalist. He instigated the, he instigated the crowd with a megaphone yelling, We about to burn this shit down! It's time for revolution! Towards a crowd at the Capitol. He is the founder of Insurgents USA. And I can almost guarantee you. A group that, for racial justice and police reform. That is going. That, that stat is going to be moved over to the alt right. Oh, I guarantee it. I can guarantee it. Now here's the fun part. Okay. The Capitol Police let the Trump supporters directly into the building. They allowed them into the gates and then directly into the building. Now some were violent. A small group of people broke windows and a door to get into the building. That is the extent of the violence. The vast majority just. Wandered in like zombies at the end of Day of the Dead. Great movie. Trump supporters did not murder a cop. This one you hear about a lot. Brian Sicknick. It's a very unfortunate name. 
They claimed that a pro-Trump mob bashed his skull in with a fire extinguisher and killed him. The media reported on this nonstop. They demonized the protesters with it. Autopsy revealed he suffered no blunt force trauma. In fact, in the words of his own mom, he died of a stroke. Yeah. And none of the people who were implicated were charged with his murder. And I'm wondering if we search on Google now, if that'll actually come up. Uh, Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Not on Google. Just saying. There was never a quote-unquote coup attempt. A coup requires illegal and overt attempts by the military or other elites within the state apparatus to unseat the sitting executive. The protesters were not backed by the military or the government. They were not armed. They were not elites. And they were not attempting to unseat the government. In fact, we know when you think about it, Every wow. single thing on this list didn't happen on January 6th. No, I was just going to say that. I think it happened about two months before that. In November. Of course, that's just our opinion. It's Could like be three real. months prior, but okay. That's just our opinion, allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. No one brought zip ties to hold hostages. <clears throat> the so-called zip tie guy took them from a table at the Capitol. Now, first of all, why were they on the table? Those are zip ties for human beings. I've, I've yep. seen them before. In his disposition, he claimed to have taken them to prevent their use by the police. Mm-hmm. Why would they be on, just left on a table, though? That's kind of, I have no that idea. That is very odd. Yeah. If this was totally unexpected, why is shit being left out? I don't know. I, I, Trump okay. supporters didn't kill anyone. The only four people who died, Ashley Babbitt, and this is one thing I will disagree with this particular post on. It says none of the deaths were intentional and all of them were Trump supporters. No, no, no. Ashley Babbitt was murdered. Correct. Pure and simple. You can see it on the video. The guy walked up to her, pointed his gun directly at her chest, and pulled the trigger. There's only two ways metal get in your body. Yeah. One is against your will, and the other, you, you, you take some funny stuff, get up on a table, and you go unconscious, and they put it in you. <laughs> Just saying. Wah, wah. Uh, Kevin Greeson, who suffered from high blood pressure and had a heart attack. That happens. Ross Ann Boyland, reportedly crushed by rioters. That's a shame. And Benjamin Phillips, who died of a stroke. Yeah, getting crushed in, by rioters is probably not a really good way to go. Yeah. I'm just just going to put that, just going to say that, you know, no. trampled, crushed, not not probably a good thing. It, it doesn't, doesn't sound like fun. It no, really I doesn't, got no. And I remember I was in an airborne operation. I was between two pallets trying to take a piss in the funnel. Pallets. And it took a bad hop and crushed me between the two pallets. <laughs> Sucked. Sucks ass. Oh, my God. All right. It's, that's it's terrible. Terrible. Ter- terrible. Terrible. And then, of course, after all that, well, we, we got to have common sense gun control because the violence in this country is out of control. It's going sky high. Never mind the fact that that's a direct result of Democrat policies and lockdowns because I'm telling you right now, Cohen Pop is a bad dude, but mm-mm, he gives a good BJ. <laughs> Isn't it hilarious? Like, it, it, we say this about Democrats and feminists all the time on the show that their expertise. Mm-hmm. is in causing a problem and then bitching, and then about, bitching it. about it. First of all, this whole common sense gun law thing, they've been they've been they've been harping on this since the 70s. We have so many gun laws on the books that they already don't enforce. The the, what they really mean is they need to, you know, take away weapons from us to keep us from competing or or being able to stand one on one against, you know, yeah. you know, a, a government that went off the rails or a Enemy that was uh, foreign or yeah. domestic. And usually that happens when, you know, the system of government that's in place, you know, a constitutional representative republic suddenly doesn't matter. And then you get a leader in charge who wasn't actually elected by the people. You mean the emperor that, installed? That tends to happen sometimes. Yes. It's only going to get worse. And, yeah. you know, this is actually going to speed up. The Democrats are going to keep ringing that bell, and then you're going to have you're going to have people going off the rails. You're going to have states like saying "fuck you," we're not we're not enforcing your bullshit. Get out of here. You know, you're not getting our tax dollars anymore. Yep. And when 36 to 38 states pass con- uh, constitutional carry, which we're right now at 20, yeah, things are going to start. Yeah, they're going to try and accelerate this stuff because I, this administration is already behaving like they are trying to make up for four years of lost time. 
Yes. They are accelerating this so fast that the media can't even keep up with their propaganda at this point. That's absolutely correct. And um, that's why they're just flat out ignoring most shit now. Oh, there's, oh, we got these these kids in cages at the border. It's like 1,700% capacity. Yeah, we're not uh, going to say that. Did, did Trump golf today? Oh, he used a, a black tee so that he could break it in half with his white club of Supreme Pizza. Oh, my gosh. We need to report on this. <laughs> <laughs> Though I did read today that he's actually going to keep doing the mega rallies. Good. I hope he does. Because Good. this is actually going to shine a light of of truth on the fact that the, the <laughs> emperor that we have that was installed is not the most popular emperor ever. You know, I was going to move on to the next subject, All but right. that's a perfect segue All right. into the next bit, right. oh, which I, are just too damn funny for words. Did I, did I take you out of order? No, it's fine. All right, sorry. It's fine. <clears throat> I, I came to realize a long time ago working with you for the last 12 years that I might ha come into certain things with a plan – but it's more like a suggestion. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, I mean, it's just it, it's it's kind of like. You I mean, know, I, I can't tell you how many dozens of times. Look, yeah, I have this article I want to find. I want to film. Oh, really? Uh, I want to talk about uh, the the you know seven steps to stinky pussy. <laughs> and you're like, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to make that video. <laughs> Banned! Banned! <laughs> Banned! Banned! <laughs> Banned. But I mean, this has been like how, how it's been but with you and I from the beginning. And, and in the beginning, right. it used to bother me a lot more because I was like, dude, you know, I just tried. And then I realized, okay, I'm dealing with a motherfucker with brain damage. So I, mean, I just gotta <laughs> yeah. do what I gotta do. How like, can he get mad? How can he get mad? Like we were doing for Purple Heart's final beat. Yeah, and yeah. I, it's like, I. I called you up the night before i'm like make sure you got this make sure you got that whatever and i show up and like one thing is done and then you're just over like sup dude video dude <laughs> fucker didn't know my name for three years and then i'm looking around i'm like where's this where's that hey we'll work around it <laughs> all right screw it but you know you gotta admit the, the drop cloth thing that worked out that, that was genius yeah, that was that was Absolutely that was genius. an on the fly kind of plan yes uh, yeah, that, that's probably the most haunting image from that whole mm. film. If you guys haven't seen Purple Hut's final beat, some good stuff. Long before we started to uh, try to be funny. That was back when I was bummer pop. The, the doom and gloom days. Yeah. Living in the pain mind. Uh, that's, listen, it's hard to get out of the pain mind, man. Well, especially, I mean, at that point in time, you were divorced maybe a year? Mm -hmm. Like late 2008 was when we met? Yeah. I'd just been divorced. It was finalized the beginning of 08. That was fresh. I mean, you could, you could still still smell your wife's pussy stank on your finger. <sighs> Allegedly, of course. Allegedly. Allegedly. You're like, it doesn't smell like me. <laughs> Damn it. It's the fire department again. Allegedly. Mm. Uh, that dirty, dirty. All right. We're moving on here. <laughs> it's like we went off on a tangent and then we started talking about being off on a tangent and now we have to take it back to the tangent that we weren't going to go on until you went off on a tangent. So it's like, all right, what are we going to do? Circular logic and the redundancy. <laughs> Most popular president ever. Biden joint session of Congress ratings are in. 22.6 million viewers compared to Trump's 48 million viewers. But Joe totally had 81 million votes. Flop. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. No, no, it's, it's, it's bad news bears. So in, in 2017, Trump had 48 million, 2018, 46, 2019, 46.8, 2020, 37.2, 11.6 million Joe Biden. But that is, those are uh, old numbers or whatever, or those were the original ones. In the first report, he only had 11 million viewers. Oh, interesting. In the first report, he only had 11 million viewers, and now miraculously that doubles across seven major networks? I, I, I'm going to have to call bullshit. Rigs! <laughs> bullshit! That sounds a little rigged to me. I don't know. Do, do ratings double overnight for yeah. something that's already aired? I'm just asking for a friend. Yeah, I don't think so. They got that down to a science. You know that. Yeah, of course. And then, of course, CBS 
who would love us to believe that Joe Biden got top marks for his first 100 days. Junk poll claiming 85% approved of Biden's speech interviewed only 169 Republicans out of 1,000 viewers. And if you, you do the math, that lines up to almost exactly the 15% that disapproved. <laughs> Gee, it's almost like yeah. he's a fucking idiot. Well, first of all, it has been proven over and over again that these polls are bullshit. They are not to be listened to or give any any credence whatsoever. No. None. If you listen to polls after 2016. You're an absolute idiot. There's y- Y'all need help. And the kind that you pay for. Either, you know, somebody who sits on a couch with a nice rack of tits, a clipboard, and a little pen that they click with their little glasses, and then they ask you, you know, how, how you're going to blame your parents today, or the kind of person who wears the same exact outfit, but they have a hole cut out of the crotch and they get lowered from the ceiling in a basket. Either, <laughs> I mean, either way, you're going to feel better at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Temporarily, of course. <laughs> Temporarily, yeah. A uh, temporary blast of DNA and endorphins totally makes it long-term fulfillment. Right, ladies? Yeah. yeah. So said the woman on the head meds. I love how goofy he looks in this picture. That literally is a man who has no idea who he is, where he is, or whether or not Corn Pops is actually a cereal and not just a serial killer who has it out for him. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see Riggs give him syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he had two women behind him and that was big news, just imagine if he had one man behind him. Yeah. <laughs> and then his son, you know, sitting there working it with his feet next to his knees. That was very disturbing. <laughs> I saw that. I was just like, oh, my God. This is so stupid. It's hilarious. You know, you got a dude that likes to sniff kids and women and then his son has a foot thing. I mean, you're the son of the vice president. Ugh. You, I mean, you have to know. That if you do shit like that, it is going to get out. Like getting a foot job from your niece? Oh, God. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but here's the best part. Oh, my God. Are you guys ready for this? I'm so excited. There we go. I'm so excited. You guys are going to love this. Oh, my. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> We decided to go to White House's, the White House's official YouTube page because we heard about the ratioing going on. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. President Biden addresses joint session of Congress. First of all, only 48,000 views. I'm going to try to blow this up a little bit so you guys can see it a little better. 48,000 views. Okay, I got you. Yeah, 48,000 views. 9,000 views. Almost 9,200 down votes and only 671 up votes. Oh, by the way, it says right here, 9,199, 9,200. (laughs) You all need to go there and downvote that shit while you can. Oh, and in case you didn't notice here at the bottom, comments are turned off. Yeah. Gee, I I wonder why that is. You know what? I should have went there last night and then raked them in the comments. They don't want people fact-checking him. Because every single word out of his demented kid diddler mouth was a lie. Yeah. And he talks so slow. Well, I not sure <laughs> I can make it to the bathroom too late. I have to circle back. I have to circle back (laughs) (laughs) just come on and you know what i guarantee you one i guarantee you uh, uh, this is almost this is 20 to one almost it's almost 20 to one oh oh, yeah yeah if if it was ten thousand and five hundred, it'd be 20 to one yeah okay this is bad so i guarantee you if we had likes disappear in real time who wants to bet that these dislikes are going to slowly disappear over the coming days. Oh, who knows? They could have been way higher yesterday. Yeah. They could have been like, you know, way, way, like 20, 30,000, and now they're down to nine. I mean, come on. And it's, it wouldn't be the first time that they did it. Check it out. YouTube deletes. Oh, screw you. This is a premium article. 
Oh, Damn you gotta it. pay for it. Ah. You gotta pay for it. Ah, you sons of bitches. I'm not paying for shit. <laughs> but yeah, you can see right here the headline: YouTube deletes. Oh, here's another one with the same article. Perfect. YouTube deletes 2.5 million dislikes from Biden White House videos. Data indicates. You know what? We need to like start a group that all we do is whenever we, f we, f we hear about Biden on YouTube, we should just go there and dislike it and slam or, or him fact check him in real time. Yeah. You know, if he does another joint session of Congress, would any of you guys tune in if we did a live fact checking? I, I'm just asking for a friend. Dude, I think that'd be I, hilarious. Yeah, that would be good. I, and I we'd would have to do a drinking game. Like every time he stutters, we'd have uh, to do a drink. Dude, and... I won't be able to drive home, man. <laughs> like 15 minutes into it, I'll be like, all right, call me an Uber. Ah, yeah, we're going to ah. die. Oh. And then, of course, mm. the, the two remaining things that Biden talked about during his little uh, – smoking a joint session of congress uh oh god no amendment is absolute oh my god yeah so specifically of course he's talking about the second amendment obviously democrats hate the first amendment but what about the other ones the 10th amendment the 19th <clears throat> well without the 14th. without the second a second amendment you have no amendments without a second amendment you have no country that's right uh, yeah but are we going to repeal the 14th amendment that's what Democrats want to do. That's why they're bringing in so many illegal immigrants to put to work for their corporate butt buddies at $2 an hour. It's basically basically legalized serfdom. Uh, I'm going to have to go with, yeah. Really Did the am. Democrats ever stop being the party of slavery? Mm -mm. They never stopped being the party of slavery and hatred. I mean, essentially what they did with no-fault divorce and welfare was take a population that had spent the last hundred years coming into its own and, in fact, had a better record of two parents in the home than virtually any other ethnicity in the country. And turn them into... They turned them back into slaves. Slaves and victims. Yep. 75% born out of wedlock. Lyndon Johnson. I'll yeah. have them African-American gentlemen voting Democrat for 200 years. That's exactly what he said. Yep. Except for the African-American gentleman part, I, I added that. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you fact check it, like that's not necessarily yeah. true. I don't believe the fact checkers either. They're so yeah. corrupt. No, his was the uh, his version was the, uh, the 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 end of the the South Park episode where you know Kyle's dad is on Wheel of Fortune. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Oh, naggers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are married. <laughs> those are women who have been in a relationship three years or married three years or more. Yeah. But uh, you see what I did oh. there? Yes. All right. I came prepared this time. Oh, you're you're on it. No skin. No <laughs> I skin. came prepared. You're short. No skin though. But that's no, good though. That no was, skin. That was We're not going to get banned. Not, that was not a for, good fit though. Not for that anyway. That's what she said. <laughs> I have to admit. I mean, no amendment is absolute. Is pretty terrifying. Uh huh. This, I think, is worse. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden actually said, and I couldn't find the clip of this because it's been removed. YouTube won't let you search for it. We the people are the government. Or should I say, we the people are the government. He actually thinks that the Constitution only applies to the government. So this is quite literally someone who was not elected coming out and saying rules for thee, not for me. That's, yeah. Or rules for me, I mean, not for thee. This, this this is like, you know, prepping prepping for tyrants 101 here. It really is. Yeah. I mean, this mirrors Nazi Germany very closely. It's scary. And we have some exact quotes here. It's time we remember that. We, the people, are the government. You and I talking to Congress. Well, the 200 people that were allowed to come and see him. Yes, yeah. Not some false in a distant capital. Not some powerful false we don't have control over. It's us. It's we, the people. Bullshit. I love, oh, we have stared into the abyss of insurrection and autocracy, pandemic and pain, and we, the people, did not flinch. You want to know why? Because the Democrats were in charge of all that shit. 
They're the ones who led the insurrection. They're the ones who are ruling through autocracy. <clears throat> 75 executive orders in 24 hours. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's but Basically correct. about that much. Uh, yeah. They're the ones who created the pandemic pain and took a the EIU? And, and took a phenomenal economy and, and turned and, it and into dumped shit. their ass all over. Yeah. You know, and I've you know, I would you know wow. what I'd really love to see? Bill Maher, the guy who said that we needed it we needed to have the Bring economy on the recession. Crash. Yeah, he needs to get thrown out on his ass and everything he owns confiscated. And he, I would love to see him like cleaning the windows at the local intersection one day. Bill Maher used to be funny. Now he's a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, he will still have like like a couple of lonely, atrophied synapses in his brain will fire, and he'll actually say something I agree with. But you know, we listen. We have a whole lot of comedians who sold out and are to are towing the corporate line. Oh. This yep. is so bad. It's sold out, it's and, so and one bad. of them's not even a U.S. citizen. Trevor Noah. No. He's from South South Africa, where they're they're going to be doing genocide here shortly. Oh, there they've been on a course for that for about ten know, years. That's like a that's like a fun weekend for them, man. They go out clubbing and <clears throat> killing white folks. Yeah, they're going to wind up going down the road of Zimbabwe, <laughs> better known as Rhodesia. Rhodesia. Yep. <sighs> I, I don't know this. This pisses me off. Why don't we take a break? <laughs> and it's scary. Uh, yes, it is. Why I'm, we... I'm going to say this All right. before we move on here. All right. Okay? Do it. Do it. Because watching these, the clips from the speeches earlier <clears throat> and listening to him talk about all kinds of bullshit that he clearly has no idea about because it's all scripted and put in front of him and he's got people in his ear telling him what to do. In fact, even his own press secretary, when she's not playing circle back Sally, and that's not just what she does in the kitchen with the extra sausage, if you know what I mean. Joe Biden's opinion doesn't necessarily represent the opinion of the White House. It's because it doesn't belong to the president anymore. No. It doesn't belong to us anymore. So I'm no. just going to say, Biden's my ass and Kamala's my balls. If you motherfuckers honestly think that this is the most popular president ever, you taint paying attention <laughs> this administration is an inside out asshole defecating on every freedom that we have and they are all out of shit tickets so they're reaching for the constitution if you realize this and you're fed up congratulations we can be friends because you know what i got booze and i'm willing to share yeah, well tim pool i mean he was talking about this like five to seven months ago that the the left wants to like basically dissolve the constitution and start over and make something better. Well, that's exactly what they're doing. When you take a look at everything that he is talking about, almost none of the things that they are in favor of are actually the responsibility of the government. Mm -hmm. The things that are, like providing a police service and a military, those are the things they want to defund. Yep. They're supposed to uphold the Constitution. They're not doing it because no amendment is absolute. And you better pull out my leg here, you whiny little bitches. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, you're right, though. I'm just, come on, man. How do you not, come on, man. How do you not see this? Oh, I'm telling you, listen, you and I can see it. I saw it years ago, but we have a large majority of people who are putting their head down, and as long as they... As long as the economy's going along and they can go to work, they're going to be just fine. And they're not going to say shit. Ugh. Okay. Th and that's a fact. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, we, unfortunately, because of the past two generations who were raised by single mothers and, the, the, you know, everyone wins and everyone gets a trophy, people, they're weak. They're extremely weak. And weak people are perfect candidates for socialism and being sheeple. Yep. I recently saw an episode. I, I want to. I forget what the channel is. I actually sent this to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. And this video has one of the most profound things in it that I have ever heard. And it explains so much about the modern left. He was talking about how a lot of these people who grow up in single parent homes, they wind up either neglected or abused in some way. Mm -hmm. And. How do you survive that as a kid? 
by avoiding the truth. When that becomes a survival mechanism, you carry that with you into adulthood. Okay. And now you've got probably about 30% of the country who refuse to see the truth when it is put right in front of their faces, even with receipts. Yes. Thank you for destroying the nuclear family and with it any chance we had of crawling back from the brink of this bullshit. Well, yeah, there's no I don't I seriously doubt we're coming back from this without having uh you know a, a breakdown in some civil Sam order. Peck and Pa bloodletting. <laughs> well, we're gonna have a breakdown in social orders. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Cause think about it. There's only really three outcomes here. Yeah. One, we draw lines. Put on the gloves and duke it out. Two, we have a big kumbaya moment and we all just get along. <laughs> and three, the left subjugates the right. Yeah. That's it. There's really, that, it, mm -hmm. there's nothing else. There's nothing else. Because no, they're losing the culture war, which is why they are doubling down so hard. And, and you can see it when you take a look at the White House, you know, official YouTube channel, and you see the supposedly most popular president ever getting ratioed into the fucking seventh circle of hell. Or the Oscars. Yeah, the Oscars. They could, at 10 million viewers, they could barely justify their existence. Like, yeah, that's why I go to movies, to be told that the country I live in is a racist fucking shithole and that I need to do better without actually offering me any solutions or suggestions for how exactly that's supposed or, to be done. Or give than, incredible examples. Yeah, recognize your privilege. Yeah, I mean, I watch Ben Shapiro, some, some of his, um, you know, his talkings that he's done, you know, his debates. And literally, he's just like, all right, so if all of this systemic racism is going on, please please name me a law, yeah. a regulation, or anything that that basically subjugates or discriminates against anyone. And they can't do it. The only one they can come up with is the one for women. Which one is that? Uh, what is it? Um... You know, where they they get hired first, and they get they get dibs on everything. Oh, affirmative action. Affirm that's it. Affirmative yeah. action. Well, the thing is, that's racism against white people. That's so exactly so if, what you, that if, is. if you're going to use that as the example, then the only systemic racism that you've proven is racism against the majority. Congratulations, you lose. Good day, sir. You get nothing. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. <laughs> I actually had this conversation with somebody who tried to convince me that white privilege was real. I was like, okay, prove it to me. Well, I don't have to worry about being pulled over just because I'm white. Can you prove to me that anybody has ever been pulled over just because they were black? No, you can't. <sighs> Is driving while black a real thing? Some parts of the country? Sure. But that's what happens when you're 11% of the population and you commit more than half the violent crimes. That's absolutely correct. Sorry. Listen, not when sorry. You, when you're in an area like that, you are literally seeing things that you don't see unless you're in a war zone. All right, so when you're in a war zone, who are the people that you pull out of cars, shake down, and see what the hell's going on? People who look like insurgents. Exactly. Period. If you don't like it, you know, what you the? can suck my... Uh. There you go. <laughs> Let's do some super chats. We need to... We need to... <sighs> I was okay. just going to say that, man. I'm drinking. I'm, dr I'm going to drink some more. <clears throat> Get spun is... up here. Mm-hmm. Spun up It's here. a spun up kind of night, but apparently people like that because we got over 1,100 people watching, and we're only an hour into this. I'm honored to have this many people watch me, man. We're always I'm just the crazy guy. Up. He's the organizer do guy. Yeah. The organizer do guy, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, of course, we got Riggs in the back. Hey, how you doing back there, Riggs? Got her in. Oh. Right, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> just checking on it. Irish lover 7745. Did I just have a stroke or did Biden start talking slower than usual? No, actually, he has to. He, listen, that's actually a coping mechanism for people who suffer from dementia yeah. and Alzheimer's. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> when I was, I mean, I was joking around like, I think I, I should go to the bathroom. <gasps> oh. All right. Uh, uh, now, I would go, but it depends. Now, also, I don't. I'm not a doctor, but I've had relatives who had Alzheimer's. Okay, and you know, like the first three years, 
you really don't notice anything. Yeah. And then after about three years, for about an additional three years, that's when you start seeing the slowing. Yep. The stuttering. Or the the interjections with things that basically are give me time to think. That, which is or, where, or, where Biden's come on, man. That's or, where that comes yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Or you're just losing you're losing your point. It, yeah. You just you're like literally the the the, the needle comes out of the groove. And, and the uh the dementia smile. Yes. You know, that is one thing that people with dementia and psychos like come swallow a heels up, pull my hair is have in common. If they cannot remember the answer to a question that you are asking them, even if it's completely basic, they will laugh to buy themselves time that, or deflect. And also, now, right before it starts to get really bad is when they lose a lot of manual dexterity. They get clumsy. Oh, oh you mean like falling up a set of stairs? I'm just saying. I mean, that could have been a that could have been a one off. Who knows? Oh, he's fallen since. I'm just saying that uh, once once that starts happening, it it comes on quick. So I, I really don't know where he is in that uh, symptoms timeline. I could be wrong, but you know, I've I've had I've dealt with relatives that had it, and you know, I got I kind oh, of studied I've, it. I've seen it myself. My my grandmother who passed away in December. For the last probably five some odd years, her memory was just whoo everywhere but in the present. Yeah, and within a span of about ten or fifteen minutes, she would tell you the the same story two or three times, and you just you deal with it. Huh? You know what are you gonna do? That's the way. But it you don't give that person the nuclear football. That's not how you deal with it. I'm just saying. I, I'm I don't really see him. If he makes it to the end of this term, I don't. I don't see him running again. I just don't. Uh, they're probably going to boot him after the two-year mark. Or then heels up Paris can re- finish up that two years, then run for two more. <laughs> she won't get elected. They might install her, but she won't get elected. The reason why she was made VP or DP, if you prefer, if you know what I mean, um, is because she couldn't do it on her own. She was free falling like a piano out of the sky. During the primaries, because uh-huh. she's a she's the most unlikable freaking witch since Hillary Clinton. Yeah, and and her <clears throat> her record is just shit. <laughs> yeah, we're totally gonna use this as our affirmative action hire, despite the fact that she is about as racist and freaking. I mean, all the crap that she did to the people in her district, forcing minorities to stay past their sentence for free prison labor. Listen, oh my god! Whenever I hear DP Harris speak, <laughs> I get flashbacks of Dina. Oh no! The incompetent witch who was a cunt to everyone around her and made herself look good by tearing everyone around her down. He said the C word. Banned! 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 So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> We're so banned. It's <clears throat> fucked. Listen, whenever I hear about the Dina thing, whenever I get reminded of the Dina thing, I always pull out the C word. Well, I mean, there is a reason why you had like five Lair episodes about Dina. And it wasn't because of her sparkling, loving personality and cackling laughter. Yeah, I hope somebody, like, throws her off a building. <laughs> and then she can land in your ex-wife's hospital room while she's dying of breast cancer, and all will be right with the world. <laughs> That'll be one hell of a kumbaya moment. <laughs> in fact, I might have to, like, make that a mantastic moment. If it happens on the same day as your mantastic moment party for your last child support payment. Glorious. There is a god. La, 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 la. And he's a gag writer. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes from a movie of all time, if you guys haven't seen it, Blake Edwards, Skin Deep with John Ritter. That is some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. I love that movie. You ever seen it? No. There is a scene in that movie where two dudes, John Ritter and this uh, glam rock looking dude, uh, he broke up with his uh, his girlfriend, Chelsea Fields, and of course John Ritter goes up there and he's like, oh yeah, you know, f- fresh rebound poon. Well, all she has there for protection are these glow-in-the-dark condoms. And after John Ritter puts his on, all of a sudden Glam Rock guy comes back, and he wants to pick up his rubbers. Nice. And see if he can do anything with it. He's like, no, get the fuck out of here. Like, fine, I'm going to take this and I'm going to leave. 
Okay, fine. Room goes dark. Little old red bobbin penis comes out of the bathroom. It's John Ritter. So all you see is this glow in the dark thing, and then all of a sudden, door opens in the hotel room, and then a blue one comes bouncing in, and then they start running around and fucking fighting each other. <laughs> Oh my God, dude! If if you haven't seen Skin Deep, that that is a movie night. We're gonna we're gonna have to do that. That oh. movie is freaking hilarious. All right, yeah. If you say so, I do say so. It's glorious. All right, super chats. And then of course, there's that one line that I particularly love. It's not even John Ritter; it's his buddy. They're having a drink, and then they're staring at the waitress's ass, and he's like, "I got to go home to the fucking loved ones." <laughs> Such a throwaway line, but I like it. Damon Wolf MGTOW, $20 donation. That is a yes on the live fact checking. Okay. Which means you got to do some research, Mother Fornicator. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Ascension! Don't worry, I have jokes, but they're on labs. So we're just going to cut right over to those. Why not? Uh, Blake, did you read Chapter 4 yet? Or Pop, did you read Chapter 4 yet? Blake, if he reads it, I'm betting he's going to want to do a whole episode on that chapter alone. Trust me on this. I think I, I have the book in my car. I have to read it. Oh, okay. Uh, two women behind Biden. He's into some weird shit. Here's a joke. It's a little rough, though. Read it first. What's black and found and found at the top of the stairs? I have no idea. Stephen Hawking after a house fire. Oh, <laughs> oh, but true. Ooh, he's dead now. He did. Yeah, just like John Ritter. I feel. You bad know what? That dude. For a dude that. Was confined to that wheelchair as long as he was. He lived a long mother effing time. Yeah. Uh, Ascension says, on second thought, don't make a video on that chapter. Don't even risk it. You will definitely be <laughs> banned and probably vanish, and I don't want anything happening to YouTube. We'll see about that. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how it happens. Pulse Kebab with a $25 donation. Pop, here's your beer monies. Blake Stolat, which means 100 years in Polish, doubles his happy birthday. You old fuck and Nostrovia. Cheers. All right. Cheers to you. Thank you very much, good sir. Really appreciate it. Uh, what do we got here? The next one. Don't wall. Would I watch you fact? Would you fact watch you fact check the president live? Yes, I would. Hell yeah. Although the drinking game might even be more entertaining. I'm just gonna say. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, I've only seen you get wango tango drunk maybe twice. Yeah, I know. That would do it. Yeah, yeah. Every time he corrects himself, uh, lies. Or, st or stutters. Every time he has a bold-faced lie, I think you should just have to take a sip. Because otherwise, it's bad news. Better. That'd be a bad day for the popster. Mm -hmm. We'd all be screwed. Not in a good way. Screwed, lewd, and tattooed. Lazarus Long, the man who does not need a porn name because he already has one. Minimum wages have always had one purpose, to price the undesirables out of the market. At a $15 minimum wage, who is going to hire people with no skills? Yes, and, and who the hell's going to go in the Army? Yeah. Because you really don't, you don't crack 30 grand until you're like a, a sergeant or a sergeant, E5 over 6 or, or uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, if... Like you get out of high school and you're gonna make thirty grand a year, you know, flipping burgers. Why even bother? Yeah, that's it's not, it's not good at all. I, in fact, I could see the draft coming back in the next, you yeah. know, decade or so. Late is in the chat. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hey, hey. All right. Her and Jimmy Bones are friends now. Oh, okay. Just cool. like I'm friends with Jimmy Bones because he sent me this beautiful skull glass and this wonderful whiskey. Yeah. Mm. I think, uh, hey, bartender, Joe Boo needs a refill. <laughs> it's going to happen. Smooth criminal. Soon it will be rules from me on to thee. That's exactly where this is going. Yeah, because because no amendment is absolute. And if you think it is, well, then you must be part of the cereal gang. We got Corn Pop. We got Honey Smack. We got Captain Crunch. That motherfucker's got eyebrows on his hat. <laughs> I mean, have you seen this? What kind of genetic fucked up shit show is this? I pooped. <laughs> oh my God. How old were you when you realized that Captain Crunch's eyebrows were on his hat? I don't even remember. I, I, in fact, I never even noticed he had eyebrows. I just <laughs> ate the food. It's all just decoration on his hat. In fact, I, I up until I was about 
maybe 13. I never even put Captain Crunch into a bowl. I just ate it out of the box. Oh, Captain Crunch. Well, that, that shit, though, like, I, I don't know what it is about Captain Crunch. I can't eat it dry because the fucking shit scrapes the top of your mouth. I, I eat it. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> you just like people to know you're coming. Yeah, well. You know, they're sitting there in the business meeting, you know, back at the mortgage place. <laughs> Pops coming. All right, fuck. Everybody hide the whiskey. <laughs> Long pause. Pregnant pause. Dinoside 13. Who are the real fascists again? Democrats. I'm going to be honest. Um, you know what? There's the, the Republicans showed their you know, showed their hand. They're they're both a bunch of they're, listen. The whole government, in my opinion, is nothing but a bunch of traitorous sellouts. Yeah. They showed their hand because the other one is up the duly elected president's ass. Yeah. yeah. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah, nothing at all. Yeah, don't, don't bother looking into anything. Oh, oh, that audit in Arizona, we're just not going to report on it, you know? Uh, we're yeah. going to send a hundred lawyers to make sure that it doesn't happen, which, by the way, failed. I want to know what they're going to do at the next election when you have like three or four, you know, constitutional militias at virtually all of the major voting, uh, voting stations in, the, in these blue cities. And you know what? If there are not people already planning for that, it needs to happen. That, I mean, if, if ever there was going to you know, start off the, uh, the, sh the the shag nanigans with the two-way rifle range, that, that would be... You know, I never even thought about it, but yeah, you know what polling stations are missing? Besides, I don't know, a attractive women who should be like holding up ring cards and having you walk through, you know? It's like, it's like oh, but do you mind leading the way so that I can... Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Rooftop Koreans. Yeah, we need rooftop Koreans. Or rooftop militias at these polling locations well, to like, make sure that shit. We, uh, we're just right, going right, to send let, let, these people home and keep counting. No big deal. Well, like the shit that happened at Cobo Hall. They mm -hmm. literally were throwing people out of the polling stations. If there was boarding up the windows. If there was two hundred armed men. Good luck with that. And they started doing that shit. It would be on. Now I'm not condoning that, but, but I, I understand. understand. Just flashing back to that video in my head and then remembering listening to the lamestream media while I'm picking up my car over at the Goodyear. Oh, Trump is claiming without evidence that there was election fraud and interference. I'm sorry, what? All right, we've all, listen, there is a mountain of evidence. <sighs> I hypothetically looked at some of it. That was uh, that was sent to you know, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Susan, we're totally talking about the 2016 election because you know stolen by Putin, right? Yep. You can't talk that about the 2020 election that way. It's against the rules. Bummer. Bummer. I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm really spun up. It's yeah, I'm but I'm pissed. trying to restrain myself. I'm getting pissed off as well. Let's continue with the super super chat. <sighs> Uh, refill that cold brew. I know you want to. That blood. glass is empty. I can see it from here. You put books in the way so people can't see it, but I can see it. Blood, blood pressure is going up, man. Come on. Do it. <laughs> stop it. I'm always like, oh, my blood pressure is going up. I should really stop. Who's the mother fornicator who likes to drink his blood pressure medication with his beer? I take it with my beer. There's a difference. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Come on, man. Why do you got to bust me out, man? My doctor watches this. He's going to, I go, in, next time I go see him, he's like, Terrence. You're going to die. <laughs> are you taking your medication with beer? Is that true? I'll be like, yes. Stop doing? it. Stop it. You're going to die. <laughs> he said that five years ago. It's, I mean, you're still it's, here, uh, yeah. Hey, if you outlive him, that'll be a funny day. He's hilarious. And that'll be another fantastic moment for you. Down inside <laughs> 13, if we go the way of Rhodesia, we need FALs. Not a fan of the FAL. It's heavy weapon side locks. This is not that accurate. I'm just saying. Nah. Now, what happened to all this shit? 
I mean, there's a reason why there really is no other rifle in modern times that used a side lock bolt mechanism. Boom. Not that good. Not that good. Mm-mm. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, a bunch of super chats just disappeared out of the Streamlabs chat. I apologize if that uh, if yours was one of them. They should be showing up in the mini feed. They're not. What so are we going to do? I, I guess I'm just dealing with it. Streamlabs, you're still on my shit list. Just because you're working today doesn't mean I'm going to keep you tomorrow. Yeah. Just saying. They're getting rotated out. Yeah. A 9 by 13 $5 donation. About time Biden was pegged by two dominatrices. I bet they had a sword fight. I would like to see the video. Yeah. I mean, you know. That I you're wonder not really- <laughs> if it can be deep fake. Maybe. You know you're not really the one in charge when the two chicks behind you wear underwear with dick holes in them. Speaking of faked, did, didn't did I email you the PDF copies of the shot record cards? Yeah. We can't talk about that in a YouTube stream, though, because we will get fucked. I'm just saying that perhaps maybe these PDFs could wind up on the site. I know. And, you know, but Susan will take one look at the stream and be like, Okay, we're going to have to go with a big fuck off. And, and then we'd be done. Just saying. But very soon we're going to be on Odyssey and Rumble for these live streams. So all new tech uh, exclusive live streams may be a thing in the future. I'm just saying. Yeah, we might have to go there for at least once once a month or something to do that. Because then we can do we can review stuff like that Medicare video that you refused to watch. No, I'm not doing. Uh, no, no, it's happening. No, I'm going to make you watch it. I will not watch that video. That is better than any Urban Dictionary. I will definition. not watch <laughs> that. That thing is just nightmare fuel. That will that will mess me up for oh, like cold, that will mess on, me up Bobby. for like years. It's just sausage being no, made. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not watch that. Stop laughing. It's not funny, man. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, personally. Oh. We've had like a dozen dudes in the chat watch that video and then message me on the Instagram, and they're like, you are fucked up, bro. I, I can't do it. It's like, I didn't make the video. <laughs> I just managed to sit through it without tossing my cookies. Like, I remember like, he Son? turns it on. I'm like, what is that? What's that? And I remember <laughs> uh, then, I'm like, then it came into focus. I was like, ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go with a big fuck off. You really had to turn it off. I was starting to sweat. I was going to vomit. It's not even cool, man. It is really raunchy, man. That well, the is... thing is, it's like something oh. that make that like for me that like has there's no filter between me and that horror. The big gumman says I'm like Doctor Evil. That's an impression I haven't tried to do yet. Hmm. I could probably work on that. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Forced out one. Your favorite machine gun. No U.S. guns or Hitler's buzzsaw. Oh, let's see. Hmm. All righty. I'd have to go. Well, he did say American. 1919 A6 is a damn good one. That's American. uh, That's an American machine gun. In the butt. Uh, Let's see. Um. I'm, it's really hard. Uh, I need to put the Jeopardy theme on this shit. He doesn't like the German buzz saws. Oh, uh, wow. Really? You can't pick your favorite machine gun? Well, I know you can't the pick Bel- a U.S. The, gun? The, 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 well, the Belgian 248 is a good weapon, but it's a little heavier. But the Mer- but Americans use it now. Well, but if it's not American made, I would say that counts. Okay, that, that, but the, yeah, that one, and that's another thing that really pisses me off. If, if I ran the show, we would buy our weapons from places in America that made the weapons. We would not yeah. be buying pistols from Beretta, and you know, uh, stuff from FN and, and Carl Gustav, whatever. No, no, and the, unless we like bought the the license and made them here, we're not we're not doing it. That's just my opinion. That used to piss me off to no end. I completely understand. All right, sorry. Because it's buying all that shit from overseas that put our economy in the position that it's in. Correct. Stop it! Yeah, I mean, we have, we have a huge military. Why can't we make this shit here? It's disgusting. I mean, it was because the United States was a manufacturing economy that allowed us to get out of the Great Depression when we entered World War II. Yeah. Well, we were. If we were dependent on ever, like that's the reason why we went into so much debt after 9/11 is because we're not a manufacturing economy anymore. 
We went to war with no tariffs on other countries that were importing our goods, and we import fucking everything. That's absolutely correct. Come on! I know. It's not rocket science. If any business owner ran their business like the United States, they'd be out of business. They'd been out of business decades ago. Fuck! Banned. Banned. Crazy uncle. Guys, the phrase build back better comes from the UN and Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, where they want to bring in all the carbon restrictions. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Yeah, that's not going to work out that's for gonna, you. That's not going to work out. No. I mean, climate change or climate crisis, as they're now attempting to rebrand it, it's just economic colonialism and imperialism. That's all it is. They're trying to keep second and third world countries from developing because the number one earmark of every developed and, and, and industrious and I guess you could say rich nation on the planet, even those that are 30 trillion in debt, how the fuck that works, I don't know. Carbon emissions. Yep. Yep. What What in the butt, butt, baby? Andrew Thorsten, $5. The, the P, Saki, is silent. Just like the P in President Biden. Resident Biden. Yeah, we could call him that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Resident also, AOC should be lowercase because she doesn't believe in capitalism, waka waka. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I like that. Yeah, I, I, I either call uh, Jen Psaki uh, band camp, circle back Sally, or my personal favorite, Saki Saki $5. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not a, I don't know why. Which, you know, you should Listen, circle back she's because. she's just an idiot. That's yes. all she is. She's an idiot. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. They earmarked I, her I think... for the job. She's, she's, she is, she has the mind of a dot matrix printer. You can watch it. <laughs> Circle back. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on. Turn that shit off. <laughs> but Ma, I got to print my research paper. No. All right, fine. Do it in the morning. Do it in the morning. My mom is such a whore. Well, you know, how do you think we got here? Hey, what are you going to do? Uh, Grundle Muffins. I would remember that screen name, so I think he's a first-time donator. Thank you very much. Nancy wears granny panty masks. Okay. She probably wears granny panties in general. It depends on the day, oh, man. if you catch my pun. I'm sorry. Um, I have nothing but thorough disgust for these career politicians we have up there. <laughs> Nothing good Being to be in said. politics, serving your country in an administrative or a militaristic style was not supposed to be a career. Nope. Okay. The fact that it has become that and that these people who are only supposed to make six figures a year somehow wind up multi-multi-millionaires skimming off the top of the people in their own districts as they're suffering and then claiming that more money is the answer. Gee, I wonder where that money's going. Yeah, I know. Actually... If it, when we rebuild everything after the collapse, we need to put in a uh, fourth branch, and all I do is audit everyone in the other three to make sure they're uh, <laughs> they're not selling out. Awake veteran eighty eight says, "Blake, your mom served us as well." Uh, if you're into midgets, that's your thing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, hey. Reaper O one just got dark in here. Please make the next layer on foot evasion and urban concealment. If you haven't already recorded something, throw a black straw for me. All right, I'm going for it. Oh, come on, man. The black ones are always the heart. Uh, they're always the best. I mean, they're all the same size, but the black ones seem to fly better. Stop it, man! Get the fuck off me! Hey, hey! <laughs> hey, it's two for the price of one, just like your ex-wife. Well, like any of the foot, in, you know, the the foot exfiltration will have to be like, uh, I have to actually show how it's done. It's not something I could do inside my office. And we or could totally. In the land. You let me know what you need. I make it happen. Isn't that what I do? Yeah, yeah. You told me you wanted to go to the Michigan protest. I went with you to the Michigan protest. Yeah, that was a, that was a stunning and brave day. We were about as incognito as we could possibly be for two dudes walking around with a, a GoPro on what looked like a fucking fishing line and a, <laughs> and uh -huh. a microphone. But we made it work. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys recognized me, so that was cool. That was fun. I, I love the black dude. It's like, you know, I don't know why she thinks everybody out here is all white supremacists unless she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> that dude was awesome. And he was wearing a Trump hat. Yeah, yeah. 
He's a good dude. Island Hermit. I'm from Michigan. Pop is 100% right. Detroit sucks. Dude, it, it has always sucked ever since I moved into this godforsaken state when I was four. <laughs> Just the fact that one of my fr- one of my close friends, you met her. You almost broke her hand once. After, or re-broke it, I should say. Lives in Detroit. Claims to love the city. Actually invited my wife and I down there on Devil's Night to listen to the gunshots. What kind of stupid shit is that? Who's going to drive into a war zone or there's active shooting? No one. I know. <laughs> That's like second place to when a buddy that I work with, who's actually deputy chief of police at one of the local uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Metro me. Detroit things. Yeah, yeah, fuck he you. told me, it's like, oh, I want to go down, uh, go down to Detroit and shoot some DJ demos for my company. That's kind of cool. Let's let's go do that. When do you want to do that? June nineteenth. We're gonna do it right on the river. Uh, Juneteenth. On the river. Downtown. No. We'll see how that works. No. So that footage got thrown out. <laughs> uh, I got. There were fireworks going off, gunshots, motorcycles, cars backfiring, people screaming at each other. I mean, you name it. I got caught down there in some. Uh basically a big kerfuffle on the 4th of July fireworks. Now, are, are we talking about the actual definition of kerfuffle no. or is this a pop definition of kerfuffle? This is this is something different. So, like I'm standing there and all of a sudden like this huge brawl breaks out in it, in it and you could just see it like overrun a bunch of people and then they just start moving like a big wall of meat punching each other. <laughs> it was like <laughs> psh, 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 psh. And I, and I had this, I, w- I was with a girlfriend of mine and her younger sister. And I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, they start throwing glass bottles. So I have to take my girlfriend and her little sister, put her against the wall and shield them both with my back and cover <laughs> the back of my head. And probably a couple hundred of these glass bottles like smash around us. I get hit probably a c- couple dozen times in the back. Nice. Before it, before it toned down, where I'm like, "All right, we're getting the fuck out of here now." Ugh. But yeah, I mean, that was absolutely insane. Wow! And I had like welts on my back for weeks. I just wanted to let you know, I'm probably gonna jinx it by mentioning it, but we're about to crack 1,200 viewers. Sweet! Please, everybody, smash that like button. Share this out on your social media if you care to, because that is one of the only things that actually breaks through the real-time algorithmic manipulation that we have been seeing. If you didn't catch it the last couple of times that we've aired, we have literally watched hundreds of likes disappear from our live streams before our very eyes. 200, 250 gone like that. Uh, and I'm sure it's probably happened tonight because if it has, the dudes will notice because th- these guys have eyes like an eagle, I well, swear. We should actually look at what we had f- from last because it was like a 1,000 when we left. To see if it actually is still, still there. Still a 1,000. Yeah. I bet just not. Well, they're just <clears throat> spam accounts, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to have that many likes because you – I mean, you what? You have like 125,000 subscribers? Yeah, there's no way you could get 400 likes on a video. Or, you know, we have a 1,000 people watching and we get a 1,000 likes. Who gets 100% likes? Yeah, that never happens. I know, I know we've got, you know, anywhere between 3 and 15, you know, FEMA bitches. Yeah. We, need to, we need to track down those 15 women because they're the ones we should really be listening to. Hmm. Well, it's you know not, what? It's not like one of them actually sought out my wedding business on Wedding Wire and tried to fuck with it because we made a video or anything. Well, yeah, I mean, they are... Uh, they called the Pentagon and shit when I was on still on active duty to get me fucked up. Oh, yeah. You've had the Pentagon come and visit you? And you've public had, affairs. You've had the Fibbies come and visit you? Not for that. It was, Not for that, it but it was you know, something else. Yeah, well, I don't want to go into But even detail. still, that's still related to this content. I would say yes. I would say yes. But yeah, I, I've literally had, because of our video about 14 lies single mothers tell, I had a single mother create a wedding wire account and try to screw with my personal business. But actually I should have another one up there, shouldn't I? Hang on. But oh no, wait, she's the same one as before. That's what are you just doing, that's man? just not good. There we go. Actually, why is she so small? Let's make her bigger. Uh, there you go. That's a good time. That's a good turd cutter. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Damn that bitch got herself a nice dumper. Well, 
in order to create a re review on one of those websites, you have to verify your account with identifiable information like a cell phone number or an email. They didn't do it. And they didn't do that. Yeah. yeah. It's called uh, cowardice. Just saying. Mm. Yep, I'll go with that. Well, it's just like, you know, Antifa or BLM. They'll come at you in a huge group like zombies, but they're like the women's soccer of domestic terrorism. As soon as you run at them ready to play defense, they die for the deck and grab their knee. Ah! <laughs> Final score, nothing, nothing. Wait. Zilch, zilch. Crazy uncle, since you're talking about lib urinals. Nice. I would love to see your response to this. It's only about two minutes, but worth it. Also, being MGTOW is like being permanent post-nut clarity. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm curious. What is it? Don't get us banned. That's all I got to say. So God made a liberal is what it's called. You ready for this? We'll, we'll watch it. Two minutes? Two minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Super Mexican? And on the ninth day... God spilled some coffee on an angry possum and God made a liberal. <laughs> God said, I need someone willing to get up at the crack of noon and check their Facebook and tweet vile things, take a nap, borrow money from their parents, and stay out all night drinking paps ironically and snorting bath salts and wine until midnight. So God made a liberal. He said, I need a person that can take a thriving community and turn it into a debt-ridden post-apocalyptic welfare state. I need someone who thinks meat is murder, produce is raised in grocery aisles, who can't fix a flat tire or change your own oil, and who, when forced to finally get a job as a barista, makes you wait for your latte while they play Angry Birds on their iPhone and then takes his union-mandated two-hour break. So God made a liberal. That's pretty good. God ass. said... I need somebody dumb enough to believe in global warming and deficit spending, yet arrogant enough to look down at hard-working folk because they don't have a worthless PhD in 17th century Belgian lesbian studies. It had to be someone that would tax and spend, sue and attack, flip and flop, legislate from the bench and pass an unread bill. A person that would take a story of American success and turn it into a lesson of injustice. So God made a liberal. <laughs> I love this picture. Did someone say Bondra's full of women? It had to be someone who'd lie to themselves and others and envy the successful. Someone to whine, cry, demand, screech, and scream sexist, intolerant, xenophobic, homophobic, Islamophobic, racist, bigot. It had to be someone that at the end of the day they could go home after helping rip apart a country with divisive race and class war and who would laugh and then sigh with mocking eyes thinking, if I hadn't aborted all my children, they'd probably say they want to spend their life doing what dad does. <laughs> So God made a Damn. liberal. Wow. That's pretty good. That is really good. Outstanding. I'm going to subscribe to this guy's channel. Super Mexican? All right, cool. All right. We just featured this uh, on our channel in our most recent live stream. Ty if I can type correctly. And then do www.redarkless.com. <laughs> So you know who's the hell we are. All right. Wow. That was good, bro. That was awesome. Thank you for sending that. Dude, that was great. That That's good that shit. I was kind of spot on. I thought somebody's going to get their pecker ripped off cuz I was thinking that we're going to get some crazy ambush like that. <laughs> I don't I will not. No, we would get totally cool. screwed. The thing is, that's why I didn't put it up on the screen before I looked at it. Okay. Cause, Cause I, I literally, I'll, yeah. I'll freak out, man. That'd be bad. I can't have that. Damon Wolf MGTOW, twenty dollars late to the party. Here's some drinking money. Don't forget the straw. Winning. Uh it's very VFM seventy six thirty four. It's very similar to the Spanish Civil War with Franco, not the Spanish Civil War of eighteen ninety eight. Yeah, uh, I'm envisioning. If this should get bad, it's going to be a hybrid between the Civil War in Colombia and in Spain, in prior World War II Spain. Yeah. It's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. Ascension! Pop, I'm glad to have this many people watching me. Blake and me, we have a place on the Critanic for you, Pop. No, thank you. No. Good. All right, yeah. I mean, I could. I was trying to explain to somebody the whole homo suspicion point thing. 
Stop. God damn it. <laughs> and they just looked at me like, well, what is? Well. Just, they didn't think it was funny at all. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's hilarious. I created Gator using math. <laughs> Who does gonna, that? It, it will be a bar app. I, I, I would like to make it a bar app. That is going to happen. I need to find somebody who can do apps and not charge me $2,000. <laughs> uh, Aiden Hill, thoughts on rising war tensions between China and Australia? Okay. Um, China is going to do some, some shit, and hopefully it doesn't devolve into a thermal nuclear incident. I don't know, but man. the like, thing is, Australian is, kids know how to kill shit just by having to live there. Not, well, yeah, you know, well, no, not really. <laughs> they used to be able to do that, but like Australia and like pretty much every nation in that in that body of water that's connected to it hates China and doesn't want to see their bullshit. So it could pr it could really if China and Australia decide to get stupid, it could really turn into basically a conglomeration of like. 18 different countries all slinging missiles at China's uh, Navy when it's doing its shenanigans. And let me say, they'll get, they'll probably shoot down a lot of those missiles, but some of them are going to land. <laughs> and then the missiles of today are, are not the missiles of World War II. No. No, no. These missiles will detonate and cut the ship in half. And they, Sometimes. everyone dies almost instantaneously. Just saying. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just saying, if Australia can handle that problem, <laughs> they won't. Like right then and there, if you, if you just go Mad Max on those bitches, you just cut off their egg rolls and dip them in sweet and sour sauce. Look, I served with I served with the Australian military. They're good guys, but they do not have the budget that we have in this country. They literally they're gonna they're gonna have a hard time. They're go, they're gonna ha either have to have other countries come together and, and gang up, or the, the UN is going to have to come bail them out. And I, in today's day and age, the UN is just a feckless organization. Very true. The, we, I, I don't even know why we're still a member of them. I don't even know why we're paying for oh, their shit. Oh, they're a waste. You ever heard of that group, Executive Decisions? <clears throat> no. It's It was a small mercenary group in the 90s. That was hired by, um, I don't remember the exact country in Africa. And basically, for somewhere between 2 and $5 million, they secured the borders, ran out a bunch of a-holes, mm. and everything was kumbaya. Now, when, when that, was it the Rwanda genocide happened? Mm-hmm. You know, they called up the UN. The UN dragged their feet. They they couldn't get anything done, and like millions of people were put to death. Ooh. So the track record of the UN is and NATO is absolute shit. Just saying, numbers don't lie. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's and executive decisions yeah. led to like Blackwater and like the mercenary companies we have today, which, in my opinion, need to exist. Yes. I'm just saying. And bad news bears, bad news bears. Yeah. Heavy water tread. Anyone noticed Biden quit talking with his hands? Clasped onto the podium nearly his entire speech, fingers interlocked. Do you think he's hiding the shakes? Uh, yeah. I mean, it could be the shakes or it could be the fact that he doesn't, he's losing his hand and eye coordination. He's losing a lot of coordination, verbally. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't seem to really know what's. I'm what. just saying. I mean that that I I I went through the timeline, and you know, I'm just telling you that's depending upon where we are and the symptoms. You know, <clears throat> I mean, but if we're at the point where he's getting severe problems with coordination, we're you know he's going to be done soon. You know, two year stops. The thing is, if he were anybody else, he would be done. They would have ran him off. They would. He would never have even been on the ballot. That's that, they only put him there because they want to manipulate him. Because they were trying to capitalize on Obama nostalgia as well. Why there is nostalgia for the most corrupt regime this country has ever known? I have no idea. The Peter Puffer. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
Listen, I, I, I saw the video, so I listened to Joan River, who got killed shortly after that. But I'm just saying, that's like having a really phenomenal taco shit on May 6th. Mm-hmm. And then grabbing it with your hand and saying, you know, I bet this will feel even better the second time and shoving it back up your ass so you can crap it out again. What were you thinking? That's how you get a disease or something. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm just terrible. Saying. Terrible. Terrible. What's the next <sighs> one? Uh, Forced out one. Would you recommend 147 or 124 grain for a hollow point nine millimeter? Okay, uh, listen, if it's a 147 hollow point, you're going to get better expansion. The lighter rounds tend to be more faster faster, and zip through the target fat without dump, without expanding and dumping their energy. So hollow points, heavier bullets, always a good call. Yeah. In my opinion, of course. And if you have to shoot through a car with a hollow point of any type, it's not going to happen. So don't do it. There you go. Stack your rounds. Dinadas. Vets, take care of yourselves. Don't give the opposition any excuses to come after you or anyone else. Props for 1100, Pop. Winning. Amen. Yeah, we need to crack 1200. We were almost there. We're 25 away. I think we can do it. We'll see. We got 921 likes. Let's keep it going. We need just. Oh, we're 1194. Come on. Come on. 1200. <laughs> Winning. Woo-hoo! We need to crack like 100,000. How do we have 125,000 subscribers and only like a thousand people watch this show regularly? <clears throat> well, I think uh, well we're we're growing it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, we yeah, started cause... off like that first one we had like 1600, but that was the presidential elections. Yeah. And then we were like 700 to 800 for a while. It's going up. It's going up. I mean, hopefully once, we can keep it going. Once somebody in the mainstream media discovers me and says my name on the on open air, it's going to blow up. Yep, but it's not going to be in a way that will be flattering. No, we no, no. Like that. when we do administrative violence and they discover exactly what I'm doing, yeah. get a load of this white supreme pizza. They're going to hate, they're gonna hate, hate my guts, and I don't care. We. Oui. I, I don't care if you hate me. I'm just trying to keep men alive. Fuck and if I have to teach them to fight dirty, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. There you go. Okay. All right. Now we got Bar One Studios. Tonight's drink is rum chata in ginger ale with vanilla ice cream. That sounds like okay. a foo-foo drink. Well worth that is pop's a foo-foo time. drink. That's well up my alley right there. And Viking Warrior Fest is this weekend, so I'll have mead by Sunday. Ooh. Yeah. yeah I had a soldier named Barrios who liked to make rum chata. Mm. It was pretty good, except for that one time it curdled. It was like cheesy, oh. cheesy rum. I still drank mm. it because that's just where I was in that particular time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it, but it, I, I, just kept I, was, doing it. I was just drinking for effect, not, not for it? taste. <laughs> but don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Inquisitor Jack, happy birthday, Blake. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a poem. Sergeant Pop will happily crow. Praises for cold brew bestow. His co-host Blake, his head he shake. Your girlfriend is shaped like a dick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Outstanding. Pretty Thank good. you all very much. I-, I love it when dudes come in here with jokes and poems. <clears throat> Fantastic. Kind of reminds me of watching Cocktail. One of the best bad movies ever made. Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, I think at the back of my book, I have like, I think, eight. Eight or twelve poems I wrote throughout my career. Nice. I think you recited one long for me ago. once upon a time. A long time ago. It's in one of my lair episodes way back in yeah. the day. Cliff Watson. The only thing Biden is really concerned about is pudding day at the White House canteen. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know why that reminded me of an old Eddie Izzard skit. Mm-hmm. The Death Star canteen. You need a tray, sir. Do you know who I am? Uh, are you Mr. Stevens? This is not a game of who the fuck are you. I am Lord Vader. Darth Vader. I could kill you with a thought. Yes, but you still need a tray. <laughs> I do not need a tray to kill you. I can kill you without a tray. I am Lord Vader. Uh, fuck it, I'll get a tray. <laughs> <laughs> you still need a tray. <laughs> you still need a tray. You fuckers. Irish lover, 7745. A fantastic moment, better than a movantic moment. 
I don't know what a Movantic. I'm not sure what that is. Movantic? Movantic. It's like a man Movantic romantic Mo- moment. That sounds gay. Oh. No, no. We'll stick with Mantastic. It's going to be a lot worse. We'll just stick with Mantastic. Yeah. Inquisitor Jack again. Either freedom is worth purchasing in blood, sweat, and tears, or it's not. The right needs to realize that the only options it has is to submit and pray that the left won't seek our total annihilation, I very much doubt it, or to Parabellum. Didn't I give you three options? There you go. Hey, r- run the burp thing. I got to piss. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, Pop's got to piss. Here we go. And now, performing another classical work, the great Wackerotti. Oh, oh God, this is making me burp like a mother. here. He's got a bladder the size of an infant, but he's still going. So we're going to read some more Super Chats. Stephen Kent with a $20 donation. Thank you very much, good sir. Democrats' attempt to halt the Arizona audit failed, and the audit is going forward. Even if nothing gets done because of it, I can at least tell all those fools who say there's no evidence of voter fraud to smurf my balls. I just like showing them the videos, personally. You know, pulling suitcases and coolers and whatever out from under tables after all of the poll watchers were sent home. If that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. You must be colorblind. Yep. You feel five pounds lighter? Uh, Three and a half, actually. Close enough. Full bladder, three and a half pounds. CJ, did Pop get go get your package yet? Yes! I did. It was night. It was very fitting that I get this on my birthday. I got myself a wine stopper and an aerator. Uh, today I'm going with the whiskey, but uh, who knows? You might see Wine Blake on Tuesday. Yeah, I had somebody you know send me a um, a bronze hammer. I think that's for reloading or gunsmithing or something. Oh, okay. That was cool. I get I get stuff like that. I appreciate yeah. it. I really do. It's all good shit. Absolutely. Crazy Donut. Healthy diet recommendations from Popster. All meat or broccoli? Does Army's diet help trip the extra fat? What are you saying? I'm I'm extra fat? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Just lick that donut and stick it to your ass there, brother. Uh, See, I've done the all meat diet. It's okay. Gets on my nerves. Um, Is that the Atkins diet? I've done the Atkins diet, which is all vegetables and and meat. There's really no carbs. Yeah. I I try to stick and do that one. Now, normally what I do is, like, I, I eat, like, I have a coffee in the morning without any sugar in it, you know, and then I don't eat until in the evening, and then I only eat once. Yeah, you always eat one evening. I don't have like that, it. like, oh, I'll eat, I'll eat in a six-hour window or I'll eat in a four-hour window. I eat one time. Okay. And then... Well, as long as it's not too close to when you go to bed... What happened? You're okay. I, I don't know. I think well, we're fucking up. No, normally I usually eat. Man, between you know four and eight in the evening, in the afternoon. But the thing is, is uh, I don't know. Like I'll usually do two two fasts a month. I'll do like one twenty four hour fast, and then I'll try to squeeze in like a thirty six to forty eight hour. Yeah. You know. But, uh, this next one is an old joke, but it's a goodie. James Rankin, why doesn't Joe Biden visit children and with cancer in hospitals? Because he can't sniff their hair. <laughs> Too true. Stephen Kent, over 1,000 watching and only 600 likes. Hit that like button like Blake hits pop with drinking straws. Hey, come on. Hate- well, you, you need another one, don't you? No. You do. How many likes do we have now? We're over 1,000 now. We're not 600. We're over 1,000. Got 1,100 people watching on YouTube. 
Come on, are you, man. Are you ready? Hey, no. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey. Oh! That had some ricochet to it. All right. Come on, man. Quit, quit it. What are you doing? It's a pink one. What are you, like, Ninja Dick Man or something? <laughs> Come on. Now, there's a T-shirt. Ninja Dick Throwing Man. <laughs> Stop it, man. That's just terrible shit right there. You bastard. Ninja Dick Throwing Man. Ninja Dick Throwing Man. Stephen Kent. Over 1,000 watching and only 600 likes. Hit the like button. Like, late. Oh, I already read that one. I'm sorry. We still have over 1,100 people watching. We got over 1,000 likes. We just hit 1040. So it's like, nice! the I, it's like the IRS is watching us. Our numbers are growing up. Get them away. If it's that's, Obama's IRS, I don't want them. I got to do, do my taxes. You reminded me. Yeah, that's coming up soon, isn't it? They, they delayed it for like a month this year? I don't know. I don't know. Michael Pelletier, I'm down for any live stream you boys want to produce. Let's pick a fight! Ah! <laughs> uh, Crazy Donut 199. Stewie, happy birthday, Blake. Bitch. <laughs> they love how I say bitch in that voice, huh? Mm, that's, that's funny. I like it. Works for me. Damon Wolf, MGTOW. What did the leper say to the prostitute? You can keep the tip. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh. Was it what, what buddy was it of yours who had like the wart on his on the end of his dong to where like when oh. he finally had it removed? He called it, it his French tickler. Oh, yeah, it was terrible, it's terrible. Oh. I I can't imagine. I remember he like somebody like looking at that and going like two Boy, weeks. I can raw dog that. I know, like, oh. like it was like two or three weeks before he decided to get it burned off. I mean, I'm in the barracks. And he's like, hey, pop. Yeah. Take a look at this. He like posts it out. And I'm oh! like, oh my god! I'm like, dude, that thing is cutting off your pee hole. <laughs> that is not good, man. He's like, oh, oh yeah. it's my French tickler. God, you sick That's bastard! Disgusting. You probably infected all kinds of women with that thing. Oh, I guarantee it. CJ, you forgot VAWA, Violence Against Women Act. Oh, did 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 Biden talk about that too? After he erased women from collegiate sports? <laughs> What's the fuck is the point of that? Vowa. How do you completely destroy women in the biological sense? Like, we're just going, it's like, well, we need to, we need to look to the science when it comes to the Iau, even though the science completely disproves everything they want us to do. But in this particular case, we're just going to ignore the biological science as well. You know what? That is consistent. I take it back. They don't like science. They, they never don't... have. They never will. The only science they like is the one that they can weaponize because they can buy off the scientists. Yeah, temporarily they can weaponize it, but the truth always comes out. Bastard. Black magic. <clears throat> I thought the State of the Union address was great. My favorite part was when Come Swallow a Heels Up, Pull My Hair, as drank a glass of water while Joe Mencia kept talking. Her hand was so far up his slot B, a finger could be seen through his slot A. <laughs> Woo! That's yep. right. That's why I said Biden's my ass and Kamala's my balls. DeWall, $50 donation. Constitution in original form only be better if it had penalties and descriptions of meetings in it. Like judge gives a sentence for one person, different sentence for another person. The same crime is liable for who commits the crime. They gave a lighter sentence. A little confusing on the wording, but I think I get No, it. I mean, yeah, he's basically talking about consistency. And thank you very much for the donation. That is the, that is good one. That is the top you. donation of the night so far. But he's talking you about guys can do better. He's talking about <laughs> consistency. There's oh yeah, there is no consistency, especially between men and women. You know, in oh, Democrat yeah, yeah. places and Republican. I mean, yeah, it, the Nineteenth Amendment was supposed to be <clears throat> equality, but women didn't have to sign up for the draft, so it nope. wasn't equality. They got the same rights as a man with special concessions, and that has been exactly what feminism has been after from the very beginning. So when they tell you it's about equal rights between men and women, no, it's not. It's about getting the same rights as a man, in fact, sometimes even more legal rights than men, with none of the responsibilities and none of the paying into society what they take out of it. And even then, even then, men still out-earn them because we're bigger, stronger, faster. We have more endurance. And I mean, they, it's not like we have proof of that or anything. Yeah, and, and they want to get the same payments for doing less work, and they, want, they call it equity, which in reality is socialism slash communism. Fuck that bullshit. Yeah, Google Fallon Fox if you think that there's no biological difference between men and women. 
Yeah, go ahead. T- take a look and see what happened to uh, his opponent in the ring. And yes, I just deliberately misgendered him because he's an asshole. And he became a woman so he could beat the ever-loving shit out of women and not be held accountable for it. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, just, seriously, if if you or I fractured a woman's skull, broke her orbital socket, we would be thrown in prison. And unless, unless there was a really good reason for that. Even if there was a really good nope. reason for it, we would still be thrown in prison. If I if I was stabbed, you might still be taken to jail. We've heard numerous stories about no, this. No, no, yeah, I know. Dudes, I, but in being the end, slashed would... and beaten and punched in the face, calling the police on their significant others, and because of VAWA and the Duluth model, they're the ones who get taken to jail. I'm I'm gonna be honest. If a chick stabs me, I'm going to smash her face in instantaneously. I understand that. But even though you're the victim, you would still go to jail because of the Duluth model. You're mob. probably right. You're probably right. I'm just saying. But somebody's but face if you, would get smashed in. If you want free license to beat the ever-loving crap out of the opposite sex, become a woman. Yeah. And then the LGBTQ WTF LOL community will call you the bravest athlete in the history of the world. And you can rape your students. That's a word. Rappé. Grapefruiting. <laughs> it's, it's, hap- it's an epidemic now. I mean, there was one, what was it, one in Louisiana or something? She had, she, she had like a three-way with two of her students. Three and then, victims. And then there was a 13-year-old that she was trying to groom over Snapchat. Not one day in jail, not probation. She didn't lose her teaching license, nothing. She didn't even lose her job. Fail. That is an epic failure. <laughs> yeah, there's your equal rights, ladies. Yeah, if, if a man did that, they'd bury him underneath the prison. Yeah, he would never. Yeah, they, he would die in prison, and they'd bury him out back. They'd never see the light of day. The numbered grave. Be like the Shawshank Redemption. <coughs> yep. Channel 1-800-DUMB, thank you very much, good sir. Love to all, Poppin' Blakey. Now, Blake, do you like that TV series that starred a captain? His name was Meryl Stubbing. Love Boat. Oh, Love Boat. I never watched that show. I didn't like it either. I didn't care. I think it was kind of in its wind-down phase when I was a kid. I didn't really like it. It was very limited things on TV, so I kind of got herded into watching it. Yeah. You want to talk to me about the Starship Enterprise? I can talk to you about that, but it's this. VFM, I disparaged VAWA in an online poll. The girl who I was talking to sounded like a phone schmex operator Mm. for a few minutes. All right. I like it. I like it, too. Although I will say, I have a sister. I love her. She's 16 years older than me. I can't stand her. A couple of years ago, she was actually talking to me about becoming a uh, hone pex operator. <laughs> and I was like, please don't. Because you always tell me about your work day. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what their credit card numbers are. <laughs> I don't want to know what you had to say to make him splooch. Oh, God. That's nightmare fuel right there, man. I would rather... There's a lot of things I would rather do, and none of them are pretty. Yeah, that's not good at all. (laughs) No, thank you. Let's do this. Uh, Oh, okay. So I think we finally caught up to a lot of these chats here. All right. Well, it's really weird. Like, uh, Streamlabs had some that for some reason YouTube did not have, so I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. But at the same time, they're kind of all over the place. Let's see what we got. So, so please excuse me if I'm if I'm a little little disheveled. Do it! Lighter Lover 7745 with a $20 donation. Thank you very much. I think we can buy a bottle of booze with that. Yes. Uh, Blake, read the super chat about my nickname, Irish Lover, because it's funny and it's sick at the same time. Your nickname? You have a super. Your nickname, Irish lover. 
What do you do, like bang ditch pigs in Ireland? Ditch pigs. And oh, was, we got a hamster in the chat. Oh, yes! hamster! We need to have him on the show again, man. Yeah, he's funny. James Maxwell, the man with the golden voice. Quite fantastic. All right. I'm going to go scroll down here. Scroll down. All right, who am I missing? <coughs> okay, I, we're past all... Son of a bitch! It skipped on me again. I swear, man. It's like it's like your brain pan when I use a word with more than three syllables. Everything just skips out of the groove, and then I get fucked. It happens, man. It does. It sucks. You gotta navigate by the colors. I am. I'm working on it. Okay. Cliff Watson. You mean like the Black Panthers at the doors of the voting sites in Philadelphia in 2008? I did. I actually did not hear about this. Okay, did but you hear the thing about is, it's like... All right. Um, I don't know. I I talked to um, on Facebook and MeWe and MeWe. some of the other um, sites. Is I, I send a lot of my videos to a lot of the like patriots, the patriot groups, patriot pages, militia groups and pages. And uh, you know, it just seems there's a huge movement out there of people. Starting to you know form militias and stuff like that. Now I I don't really keep up on their training or anything like that. I don't want to get involved. I'll just report from from a distance. But uh, I mean that's my impression. What do you uh, something you gonna laugh? Ascension. Oh God no. It's a really good one. So don't drink anything. The scientists have proven that women will, at some point in their lives, contain intelligent DNA. Unfortunately, 95% of them will spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Woo. That's a good one, man. Oh, good burn. Awesome. Good burn. Inquisitor Jack. Oh, I already read this one. I don't know why I missed that one. It's, it's kind of weird. It's, it's, uh, even Streamlabs is screwing up. Damn it. Ascension! Blake, it scrapes the top of me mouth. Me and the Crytanic crew. That's our captain. <laughs> You're a bastard. But it's okay. I love you. No homo. It's all good. Jimmy Bones, Blake, I saw the 19 crimes wine at the liquor store today. I might try it. Also, I'll send a bottle of the Rebel Yell... Root beer whiskey. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know, we have some of that not your father's root beer in the fridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually did make a root beer float with it the other night. They're really good, aren't they? It's good. I told you. If we could make some with the whiskey. Hmm. Yeah, why not? If you send us some of that Rebel Yell root beer whiskey, Jimmy, I will make us root beer floats with the whiskey. Yeah, I remember I made my mother one of those not your father root beer floats. I remember I walk into the living room, she's watching TV, she goes, I don't like root beer floats. I'm like, Oh, you'll like this one. And she was <laughs> like, Oh yes. This is very good. Oh, and he says to pair that with a preferred Irish queen Irish cream. Queen. I'm I am i am sounding like I don't want anything. It's not like it's not like freaking Elmer Foot. Oh, it was Irish Queen. I have nothing to do I'm with hunting that. wabbits. Irish Queen. Queen? No, no, thank you. Killer Queen? <laughs> <laughs> bicycle. Bicycle. Ah, oh, good time. CJ, multistream.io. Talk to TFM again. Um, We actually looked at multistream.io. Not worth it, but we have plenty of other uh, options possibilities and options that are out there. So at our disposal. That. Yeah. Hang on. I said butt, and I didn't put any, I didn't put any butts up there. It's okay, way to get through these, man. I know. I, I, oh, hang on. One. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice. Oh, uh, isn't that nice? They're nice and purple. It looks like a grape. That's a that's a nice chocolate drop dropper. I enjoy it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> JL Eric Holder turned Bank of America seventeen billion dollars into a slush fund for acorn-like groups, and that's why everything went off the deep end in 2014. Isn't he the same dude who said, "If they go low, we kick them"? I'm not sure. 
I believe it was. Robert Howell, twenty dollar <coughs> donation. Google this: a century ago, on September sixteenth, nineteen twenty, at twelve o one p.m., a bomb that was delivered via dynamite and horse drawn carriage went off at Wall and Broad Street, just outside the offices of famed financier J.P. Morgan. Oh, well, people. So don't... was this before or after he decided to stick it in Nikola Tesla's fourth point of contact when he was on the verge of giving us free energy? Well, nobody parks a bomb out front of your house or your uh, business. Unless you deserve unless it. Unless you're an asshole. Just saying. I wouldn't say, I don't know. I mean, he was a dick. <laughs> dick yes. Th dick things happen to dicks. That's true. Sometimes, whether, <clears throat> whether they deserve it or not. Our former president, well, actually, current president, if you really think about it, he's kind of a dick, mostly to the women in his life, but he ran this country like fucking clockwork. And that's why I voted for him twice. Yeah. Now, do I agree with everything he did? Fuck no. Hell no. No. You pardon Kwame Kilpatrick and not Tiger King or Edward Snowden? Fuck you. <laughs> and the mushroom-shaped horse you rode in on. I don't care how hot your wife is. Yep. In other words, suck a dick! All right, see what we got. You gotta, you gotta say it. Say it. Suck a dick! There you go. Michael Pelletier, how about a coupon code for a donkulous swag? Can we do that through crypto? I don't know. I don't know. I have to talk to him. Our main merch store is called Crypto Fashion. Um, if we can do a, 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 a coupon code, absolutely. I really want to move everything over there because I don't want to support Teespring or Streamlabs or any of these other BS things. All right, like, no problem. We're going to be getting away from it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Evil Zombie 2, are there any politicians worth supporting anymore? Rand Paul. I, if I not, think there's like now what? six or eight that are up there. The, 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 the rest of them are worthless. Just think of how pathetic that is. There's maybe a half a dozen out of hundreds. I know. And these people are supposedly, and you have to add that in now because of what happened in November, elected. These are the people who are supposed to be serving the public trust. I, I, I'm a, Listen. I don't believe that many of these people were, were duly elected in there after the shit I saw happen in November. I, I'm i like, I'm sorry. You, you just, you can't fool me anymore. Well, when you see that, you have to question everything. <coughs> question yeah. this country, Canada, anybody. Yeah. With, with the supposed modern technology that's supposed to make it the most trustworthy election ever. <sighs> Easily tampered with election ever. In the butt. Uh. Damn, this is some good shit. Woo! G Sky. G Ski. G Sky. I don't know. 1,200 viewers. My Dixie wrecked and State Farm won't pay. Well, that's because you lost all of your weapons. And make sure that they know that when you file the claim. <laughs> Just saying. Boat accident. Yes. I mean, Tipped canoe. Boat accident in the middle of Death Valley. It happens. These things happen. It is. I mean, like, it rains really hard there. Flash flood. Wee. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? What are you going to do? I'm not 22. The wall. Executive decisions. Count Dankula actually did an interview with the guy who used to run that organization. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they came down on him hard, man. Yeah, they, he went to prison. They did all kinds of horrible shit to him. Pat Wax Daddy, Goat <laughs> Belly in goat, the chat. Goat Belly! And we are going to have Goat Belly on a stream <laughs> coming yeah. up very soon. Yeah, we just got to work it out if you can get out of work a little earlier. Yeah, we got to work out the time, but that dude has got a story that everyone needs to hear. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. When you told me, I was like, holy shit, really? Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Spoiler alert, the dude beat bone cancer without doctors. Well, Fact, not opinion. He did see a doctor in the VA. They're like, yeah, this looks bad. But he didn't do it with 
chemo and nope. radiation no, or any none of that, that bullshit. Shit. None of that shit. All the shit that actually killed my dad. And like one of my and he and one of the other guys on the same team that we were on back in the day, his wife had liver cancer. Pat or, or goat belly <laughs> basically gave her the same Jedi juice diet and she beat it. She Ooh. cured herself of liver cancer. Wow. That's awesome. Car bomb forty seven is Green Beret Foundation legit. You know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to besmirch veteran organizations. You know, I hear all kinds of rumors and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you take your chances. This is how drunk I am. I announced Goat Belly's chat and didn't read it. Oh, read it. Executive outcome in Angola worked with a bunch of them. <laughs> Die on me, bro. Well, a lot of guys from executive outcome, they only really punish the guys at the top. Ah. A lot of the other guys who worked for them went on to do other stuff. Good times. Troy the man just took a huge gulp of apple pie moonshine. That is one of my favorite things in the world, so I know you enjoyed it. Some good shit. Mehmed 2, 499. The former vice president said yesterday that way the people refers to the government. He's profoundly mistaken. I won't say any more on this medium. I understand. Yeah, we talked about that. Seriously. He's absolutely correct. You would have to be demented. You would have to have full-blown stage 4 Alzheimer's to actually think that. Or you would have to be at the mercy of people whose hands are so far up your ass you've become a sock puppet. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> I'm tube. dying here, bro. Wrong tube. Wrong tube. Fuck. I hate it when that happens. And it's whiskey. I know it burns. It burns. Uh, my eyes are watering, and I still have to read. Son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> Damon Wolf MGTOW. Fight dirty, like filling hollow points with mercury. Dirty. You know, uh, that whole filling your weapon, your your bullets with mercury. That's, you know. That's bullshit. Hamsters in the chat going smashy the likey. Help bop, help pop buy some hooch. Do it. <laughs> and so Polska Bob's like, you drunk, hamster? <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Apparently, Hamster got drunk on a stream once upon a time, and it didn't go very well for him, at least not in his own opinion. No, I mean, the thing about the mercury and the hollow points, yeah, I... I mean, it really helps the expansion of the hollow points, but it, is it going to be super toxic? Eh, if, you, if that's what you really want, get yourself some dip. Dip? Like chewing tobacco. Oh, I was going to say, was it something like Roger Rabbit no, territory no. here? He calls it the dip. <laughs> you take the chewing tobacco, put it in a thing of water, boil it down, run it through a str uh a strainer to get all the particles out of it. Do you have like that horrible rancid? Wasn't that like the Alabama musket or something? You put chewing tobacco in a chick's butthole. No, no. And then you you basically boil down this the, the, the brown syrup until it's it's really thick syrup. Three three basically drops of that at the end of a bullet. That that shit will kill your ass faster than shit. Speaking of Roger Nicotine Rabbit is, and. Uh, the Alabama musket or whatever it's called. I haven't seen any urban dictionary definitions. Thank put God. I don't want to see any of that shit. I deliberately jinxed it because I want to fuck with you, bro. Come on, man. Anyway, nicotine is a horrible, effective poison. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Well, it is, wouldn't a drop of pure nicotine on your tongue kill you? Yes. Yeah. It will. And you're just going to smoke it. And that's why I laugh. Like when I went to the movie theater on Sunday, I got all these people who are just like adamant about their masks. They go outside during the intermission of the movie and light up a fucking cigarette. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're terrified of a respiratory disease that has a better survival rate than the flu? And you're going to smoke a cigarette while you're getting some fresh air? Look, what? They're sheeple. They're weak sheeple, man. What are you gonna? What are you going to do? Oh, the irony is through the roof, and they don't even realize it. Damn it. Joe Mara saw Budweiser plus Blue Gatorade equals fire. Eh. That doesn't sound good to me. Eh. Sounds kind of nasty, actually. Uh, first Domino with a $10 donation. One of our wrenches for AA. <laughs> for ah. 
Ga ah and na. Ga ah and na. James L. Great show, guys. Thank you very much for the nine ninety nine donation. Dale William Reinhardt, four ninety nine. Love you guys. Keep up the awesome work. Winning. Do a winning. Give it a winning. Do we have one? Oh, you could do a winning. Winning. <laughs> Yeah, where is my winner? <clears throat> I, you know what? I have. Uh, I got some go? emails. Winning. There it is. I mean, I got some emails in the past of like guys who are like on active duty, and they do that all the time. Winning, winning. Oh, there was a, a buddy of mine who works in a hospital down in, uh, I think it's like Southgate or something, and uh, he used to work in the ER and get a lot of people come in with burning pee. <laughs> he showed them all the five hundred miles of Mister Right episode. So what's your patient got? Got her in. <laughs> that became a huge thing on the ward in that hospital, and I was very proud. That's that's good shit right there. Got her in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Car bomb forty seven with a five dollar donation. Thank you, sir. Michael Pelletier. Oh. We're uh, catching up again. We're like all over the place with this shit. Happy nomadic. Gotta love how Biden called seventy more, seventy four million people white supreme pizzas. Because that's gonna work out great. Yeah, because liberals don't seem to realize that when you call police racisms, you are by proxy implying that all criminals. Are black or minority? I, I mean, it explains why all of these people who fight moacisms think they can call Tim Scott Uncle Tim. Oh yeah, and they're still totally ideologically consistent. And Twitter is allowing that shit. They allowed it for several hours before finally oh, they, banning the hashtag. They took it down. They finally did it after several hours. Mm. Not like Jack Dorsey gives a shit or anything. Yeah, you're right. Dude looks like the Unabomber on crack. <laughs> good. That's good stuff right there. Jail. That's good stuff right there, man. That is some good stuff right there, I tell you what. Uh, hey, 9 by 23 wants to know, hey, Blake, did you hide a, an Easter egg at the beginning of the Burt montage? The man at the beginning is sitting down to piss. Uh, no, that's just that's the that's the just, stock footage I found. That's just the way it worked out, that's man. Just how it worked out. Yeah. You know how it goes. Happy nomadic. Gotta love how Biden called seventy four million people white supremacists. Yep, there got that one. Uh, e G four ain't a lady if she ain't two eighty. <clears throat> oh my God, no, no, two eighty. Get out of here. That's like a flesh stew. I tell you, like. Get reconstructive surgery. That's how you wind up with a broken pelvis. That's right. You get fucked. Spine surgery. Figuratively and literally. Not good, man. Not good at all. Oh, fan I am. How do you make French fries out of a leper? <laughs> Hit him over the head with a tennis racket. Oh, God. <laughs> That's messed up. Critical Texan. My roommates invited crackheads into our home. Got told to F off after they got caught stealing shite. And then I told my local gun shop that I was a terrorist. Local gun shop owner declined to sale to me and then reported me to the ATF. Well, you kind of did that one to yourself. Yeah. I mean, yeah you you, you kind of took the penis in your own ass on that one. All my guns and ammo are gone. My phone is tapped. I know because the DEA knocked on my mom's door 10 minutes after I hung up looking for me. Oh, and I'm over $10,000 out of pocket because of legal fees. Yeah, that's not good at all. No, I mean, dude. What, why would the DEA come to your house after you hang up the phone? I don't know. Poor what, critical Texan. I, I mean, they only get involved in drug shit. Maybe Obama sent him. I don't know. Tracy Wilborn. Lots of talk about money. Corn Pop wants to spend. A lot of rhetoric and not much anything that means anything. We all need lots more booze. Yes, we do. Absolutely correct. I just poured myself a new one. But I don't do full shots like Jimmy because I don't want to worship the porcelain god. <laughs> That would be bad. That's a bad night for the popster when that happens. Woo. Oh. Jimmy Bones, speaking of the devil, Pop looks like he's warming up for his all-vowel opera hour in one frame of the piss break. Blink and you'll miss it. <laughs> but I didn't. 
<laughs> nice. Insert Dr. Evil laugh. <laughs> right. Mm. <coughs> Terrence Pop loves chocolate. Scotty do. <laughs> Critical Texan. Again. Good impressions, man. My roommates invited crackheads into. Oh, okay, it's the same exact thing. Okay, there's. Yeah, you don't want crackheads. It, it literally in repeated itself. You don't want roommates in your house. Weird. That are on crack. The drinking straw. Donated five dollars. Cleveland hot waffle. This is simply the art of. Shitting on your woman's chest and then smacking your huge pile of crap with a tennis racket, creating a hot waffle. Yeah, you know, come on. Nobody does this <laughs> shit. <clears throat> Get the hell out of here. The thing is, though. That's how you wind up going you, to jail. Says the guy who sold off a footlocker full of German scat porn. Well, you know, I... I needed to get to my, my the fact thing. that people not only do stuff like this but record it for posterity it's not that far fetched i'm just going to say all right yeah i guess i'm just saying i could be wrong it was a whole wall locker i pray i'm wrong I mean, it was a whole foot locker i don't want a, a whole foot locker german scat or well that pay. was just a majority of it there was other orn pay in there it was all bad though it was all bad Terrible. And you know this because you watched it all. Well, you know, I <laughs> I had to go find it all. I was I was the guy doing the health and welfare inspection. What do you want from me? I can just imagine that health and welfare inspection. Oh, what's this? Ich eine kleine Penis is storm. I have to hang on to this. <laughs> I want to make sure that it's health and welfare for you. And now, usually, like. <laughs> I would find it, and I look at them, and like, no, I gotta take it. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, I know. I would throw it in the box. But there's some dirty birds. There, and then man. you use that to levy getting a bunch of jeeps repaired. I had. What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, it was Humvees, up armor Humvees, and like literally, they wanted like three and a half months uh, to uh, waiting. That's ridiculous. I'm like, I, I need. I have missions, man. I, I'm mission incapable. This what is not gonna fuck? work. I, I had to make some, uh, you know, I had to do some wheeling. I'm a Green Beret. That's what we do, you know. Damn it. You know, Foot Locker, Foot Locker of, like, crazy porn, and I went from three and a half months to, like, 11 days. Ugh. What a deal. What a deal. <laughs> and all you had to do was give away a bunch of VS tapes. Of Dude, I... Dude, shit in a chick's chest. Look, I remember, you know... Oh! We had like the pig. Oh iron. God! Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like my unit, we, we went out and we, we took a bunch of pig iron doors for oh. our Humvees. Uh, I remember, uh, like, what, there was an in, uh, engineering unit that had been there long before our unit got anywhere on Slayer, and uh, they had left behind all of this, you know, tin, corrugated tin and shit. Yeah, dude, I swapped that for some good ass shit, man. I'd be like, you know, if you're looking for a corrugated tin, I hey. know where something is just laying around. <laughs> Winning. Hey, it's not, it wasn't mine. It was the government's. But, you know, what are you going to do? It's I didn't steal it. Just a footlocker full of. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> Channel 1-800-DUMB. Blake, did you get our happy birthday? Yes. Love boat, cruise ship, duh. Happy birthday, our brother. Bottom of the glass. Salute. Salute to you. Thank you very much. Irish Lover 7745. I sent a super chat before the stream started, please. Uh, if you did, I didn't get it. Um, I'm not sure what it is with this crap. It's been disappeared. It's really not working for me. It got disappeared, bro. Uh, I'm trying here, brother. I'm just saying. Tony Soprano. Oh, fuck. Where'd it go? What kind of name is Pop? What ethnicity is that? You know, I don't know. I think it's some kind of Slavic name, to be honest with you, like Popovich or some crazy shit like Popovich. that. Popovich? Popovich? That sounds like Russian vodka, to be honest. It, it actually is. Uh, I would like a uh, small glass of Popovich. <laughs> well, if you could please put me a glass of that, that would be... Listen, man, uh, a lot of that uh, 
Russian vodka. Some of it's really good. The rest of it tastes like it was uh, basically strained through a boot heel. Or a jock strap. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I drink it for effects. So I don't care. I'm just saying. <laughs> Evil Zombie too. Also, you guys got me hooked on the Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire. Yes, shit is That's, awesome. That is good stuff. I will say that that is far superior to Fireball. And like I said, if you want a really good hard apple cider for Halloween or, or just to fall in general, if it's just kind of cold out, you want something, I will send you guys the recipe. Just <clears throat> send an email to redonkulous12 at gmail.com. I'll send it to all of you. I'm not stingy. All right. I'll help you guys out. I make it every year for Halloween. Full gallon of apple cider, a, ha a cup and a half to two cups of Tennessee, of Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire, about a cup and a half to two cups of cran apple juice, and then just sprinkle cinnamon and nutmeg all over the surface to taste. You cook it in a crock pot, not, or you can cook it in a pan on the oven if you cook it on low. Mm. Stir that up until the cinnamon all mixes in. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Fantastic. You say so. And... You don't realize how crunked you're getting until you've had like four mugs of it because it's so smooth going down. And then you're like, I won't get me another. Fuck that. I think <laughs> I'm going to sit here. You mind going there to get there for me there, honey? What's your, what? Oh, are you my cousin? Oh, you still look good, though. <laughs> oh, that's a, what, who's that? What, what, what? You said there's someone sitting behind me. Oh, that's the former vice president. How you doing there, Joe? Could I get me a glass of that? Fuck no. <laughs> You're a creepy, sniffy son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my deodorant today. You creepy motherfucker. You were not elected. You go away. <laughs> Tell your son I said hi with his nascent shit or nascent feet. <laughs> That's good stuff. It nascent is good feet. stuff. It's, just, it's good peach stuff. Reaper 01, still dork in here. Pop, your opinion on weapons like tactical pens and punch rings for EDC carry in non-permissible areas. P.S. I'm trained in boxing and BJJ. Now that is a homo suspicion point if I've ever heard one. I I'm trained in BJJ. It's no, that ain't gay. It just means that I'm hot. <laughs> it's the all vowel opera hour. It's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm just fucking with it. Now, typically, um, if you're going through a security checkpoint, you know, and you have anything that even resembles a weapon, they're going to take it away from you, it, no matter what it's made out of. Uh, your best, the best advice I could give you is toughen up your hands and get in shape. Find a boxing gym, get in there and spar two to three times a week. You become infinitely more dangerous once you can fight other human beings effectively standing on your feet. What? Good times. <laughs> Good times. Uh, construction management donated $2. He sent a chat at the beginning asking about CZ75. I have one. I love it. It's a pistol. It's a pistol. Nine okay. millimeter. I love it. So if your question about it was about whether or not you should buy one? Yes. Yes. All right. There you go. Yeah, and they're not like crazy expensive and they're very durable and uh, they're accurate. And I like them. There you go. Kevin Miller, $20 donation. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you for what you do. Happy birthday, Blake. Yay! <laughs> I'm 38. I'm old as shit. And I'm getting pretty fucking drunk off of this peach whiskey. You know what? The more I drink this stuff... The less I blame Jimmy Bones for his performance on the stream. So we're at like this two, sneaks up on you. We're at two and a half hours, so we still have a thousand people. We still have over a thousand people watching, <laughs> and we still have more super chats to go. <laughs> Don't die on me, bro. What Damn can I it. say, man? You fuck it up. I always have a cough. It's never gonna go away. Well, you know. It's what happens when you attempt to scratch at the little tickle in your throat. With penis. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you bastard. You learn from the best. Hey, hey, hey. Meaning your ex-wife. Allegedly. Allegedly. Evil Zombie 2. Blake, as a voice acting connoisseur, have you ever heard of Billy West? 
Greatest voice actor ever. No, I haven't heard of him. Nope. I've heard of uh, Frank Caliendo. Pr- pretty good at the voiceovers. Mm-hmm. He can do a lot of the that stuff, you know. Zoinks like a scoop. Like it's the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> like it's the guys that do the fancy basketball tricks. <laughs> Ruby Roo. <laughs> you know. He's the guy who does all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or what's his name? You know, you know who never gets enough credit in the voice acting business is a guy named Frank Welker. He was twenty-four. When he began doing voiceover work as the voice of Fred and Scooby Doo in 1969. Wow. And he still <sighs> voices Fred today. And now he also voices Scooby Doo. Damn. Yeah. He never retired. He, he even did it in the new Scoob movie, which I reviewed for a website called Spoiler Free Movie Sleuth. It's kind of shit. I mean, there's some good stuff in it, but for the most part, it's really shit. Like the direct to video movie that was called Stage Fright was made in like 2010, 2012. But you're talking to a guy who's far like, superior. It's like 80 now. And he's still pulling down a check. It's pretty kick ass. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> Frank Welker. He was also the voice of uh, Megatron in Transformers. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, you name it, this dude has done it. And he's still around, and nobody ever fucking talks about him. Well, he is a voiceover guy. What do you want? Yeah. Well, I, that's another th- thing, too. Like, Mark Hamill after Star Wars, that's how he began making most of his business because he got fucked up, I guess, from, like, a, a car accident or something in between Empire and Jedi, or maybe it was between the first two. And uh, and he became the voice of the Joker. He is now, like, the definitive Joker. He did the voice in the animated series and also the voice in the video games, like the Arkham Asylum games. That's cool. Yeah. Make some good people, money doing that. People don't usually draw a line between Luke Skywalker and the Joker, but yeah. there it is. He did not age well, though. No, nah, most people don't. Most people age like milk and not wine. Yeah, he did. He aged exceptionally poorly. Um, but I will say this, though. The remake of Child's Play was very choice. Okay. I enjoyed the shit out of that <clears throat> because it was totally different. I, mean, I love Brad Dourif. It was the voice of Chucky in the original movies, but Mark Hamill voiced Chucky in the new Child's Play, mm-hmm. and he's just somebody who really wants to be your friend. No, and in some ways, that's a hundred times creepier. Yeah, you know, we're trying to force it. It's not. I'm good. just saying. Lord Donut Hole. So it's Lord Donut Hole, not just Donut Hole. Lord Donut Hole. We hear a lot of Sarum Pop stories. How about some lower enlisted E4 Mafia pop stories? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, there's a lot here, I bet. I got, to be honest, I got to think about them. I haven't really thought about that in a long time. The E4 Mafia shit. All right. So I'll have to come up with some. Think about it, write it down. We'll move on to the next super chat. We'll do that in the next stream. Uh, Ben RP, $20 donation. Thank you so much. One for Roger Rabbit. Sleepy Joe reminds me of Judge Doom. Both are Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> when I killed your brother, I sounded just like that. <laughs> Dude, you're getting drunk, man. I am very drunk, but you know what? You don't have to be drunk or sober to enjoy Roger Rabbit. Nah. I'm just saying. That was, uh, what, in 1988? I like the titties in that. (laughs) I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. No, you're bad. (laughs) Uh, You know exactly what you are. It's funny. You know, the voice of Roger Roger Rabbit's wife became Chandler Bing's dad. (laughs) <laughs> on friends. Really? <laughs> yes, Kathleen Turner. Really? Uh, okay. Aren't you the load to be wearing a dress like that? Don't you have a little too much penis to be wearing a dress like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Viva Las Vegas. They could not pay me enough to do that shit. I would never do that. Never. Challenge accepted. I'm not doing it. Never. I will convince you at one point to do a skit for this show that requires you to wear a wig. Nope. Uh, Not happening. 
Not doing any of that crazy you know, You're about shit. as much fun as rolling dog turds in cement. Well, that could be fun if you catch <laughs> people by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a bastard. Uh, Irish lover 7745. I got my nickname Irish lover because I nailed a very hot girl who put a rubber on the bottle of Guinness to prove carnal knowledge. I had to drink from the bottle afterward. That's Irish lover. That's disgusting. That sounds fantastic to me. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, 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 no. I was actually just telling you a story because we were putting together the strip tease for the new episode prior to mm. doing this stream. And Pop is like, dude, that girl's got some nice Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, she does. Kind of reminds me of this chick, Candace. And then I had to explain to him how once upon a time, my horse chick, whose name is Kelly, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Well, on my 23rd birthday, she was all about hanging out with everybody. But by my 24th birthday, she was trying to levy her control over me, over my appendages, pretty much everything under the sun. And there were two very specific women that she was jealous of. One was named Urka. The other was Jenna. Well, when she decided to reconvene herself to a different part of the house because she wanted attention and everybody was paying attention to me at my birthday. Well, guess who went to try and talk to her and make her feel better? The two chicks that she was jealous of. Mm -hmm. But you know who didn't? Candace. The chick with the immaculate tatas. Well, and the reason why I know about those is because while the two chicks that she was jealous of were taking care of her in the back room of the house, I was in the basement getting straddled and motorboating. <laughs> it's quite fantastic. Good times, good times. Good times and great oldies. I'm just saying. Channel 1800 dumb. Hey big papa, when would be the best time to shave one of Blake's eyebrows? Oh, well, that's actually Never. That's actually a fairly common thing in the military. Oh, okay. Yeah, you so you're going to draw a penis on my forehead with a Sharpie? No, like, you know, like I had a roommate. I, I put nair on one of his eyebrows. <laughs> he woke up in the morning, and not only was it shaved, it was gone. Gone. It took, like, a long time for that shit to grow back. Oh, I've seen that stuff. You know what really freaks me out is the dudes who – uh there's these videos on YouTube of the dudes who have like the wax on the, th they look like Q-tips and they put it in their nose. Yes. Yeah. I've had that done to me. Oh. But the best part about the eyebrow thing is in the morning <clears throat> in the bathroom, when he, he goes in there to turn on the light, there's a razor and a permanent marker on the tray. So he makes the choice to either shave the other one off or <laughs> draw the one that's missing in. It's classic. <laughs> classic. I got like four or five really good fist fights over that. <laughs> it was comedy. Oh, comedy great. gold. Woo! <laughs> comedy gold. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know, yeah. in all the times that I've gotten like just crazy drunk, mm -hmm. even worse than I am now. I'm just going to let you know that. I've never had anybody draw anything on my face. Oh, no, it happened to me. I've had pictures taken of me, which I've never seen. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Well, one. No. 2013, I was covering the women's Final Four in New Orleans. By the way, if you guys are ever gone to New Orleans, Acme's Oyster House, their char-grilled oysters, mwah, fantastic. They're not the, the runny, snot-looking oysters. They're actually cooked. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're not into the, the raw oyster thing, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, um, I was going out with a whole bunch of the dudes at the university. I had a camera on my neck. I was taking pictures of people. And a shot girl dumped two shots down my gullet that I didn't want because she wanted the change for my $20 bill. Next thing I know, I'm puking into a trash compactor on Bourbon Street, 
Neil takes a picture of it. Every time I go and visit that mother, mother fornicator at Oakland, I go in there, I'm talking to a couple, hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Blake. What? And then it's there on his screen, like a huge, blown up to full size. You motherfucker. <laughs> well, actually, I had they actually shaved my one of my eyebrows off one time. And oh, I, bet. Uh, I just drew it in. I'm not a shaver guy. And then uh, oh. I, I remember I, I passed out, and literally I had a four-leaf clover of cock driven <laughs> on my face <laughs> in permanent marker. <laughs> I had, like, they were, like, going... In four different directions on my face. I got up for PT. I ran out there, and my platoon sergeant was just like, "Seriously, Pop? <laughs> Seriously?" And I'm like, "What?" He goes, well, after we do PT, what? you'll see. And like, I ran. I did everything. I did not know I have a four leaf clover of cock in my face. <laughs> I get down. I go wash my face. I'm like, "God damn it! God damn it!" Everyone on the whole floor <laughs> was just laughing. Cause, and, I, and you know what? It, it took like a week and a half to come off. Well, you know what's even crazier is that you know I took these two shots that I didn't want. And then I went out into Bourbon Street with a camera. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. You know the end of, of The Hangover where they don't remember anything that <laughs> happened? <laughs> so... They finally find the camera. Yeah. Oh, no. And then they go through, and then they kind of reenact the whole night. They finally get to see what it is they did. That's exactly what it was like. That's Yeah, I've, I've had that happen. There was this bartender holding up a big bottle of Fireball, and I was like, that is the hottest woman I've ever seen. I don't remember her, and she's posing for me. Yeah, but you just blacked out for a night. Him. I blacked out for a whole, like, f three, four, four-day weekends and shit. It's bad news bears, baby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we still got over a thousand people watching this show, man. And we're just talking about getting crunked. <laughs> getting wrecked. Thank you all for tuning in. We now officially have more likes than current watchers. Thank you all so much. Uh, 9 by 23 I've been sharing your videos with some young engineers that I work with. I heard one of them tell an electrician he needed to unfunk his thinking mate. <laughs> yeah. I love I love it when the lingo catches on. It's like a virus. I do too. Troy the man, I sent you a link to the Redonculus Twelve email. Tell me that oh, excuse me that Antifa isn't buying that product by the truckload. Also, Happy Womb Emancipation Day. Thank you. I was cut out because my ass was too big, and so was I. This is just kind of how it is now. I just say, uh, when you're done growing up, you got to grow out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Stephen Kent, is there any way that we can get Pop Spetsnaz doctor on the street? Oh, my God, no. That would be awesome. Oh, no, no. Also, Pop, can you tell the story about when you got caught speeding on base? Which one? <laughs> I got caught speeding a lot. There's more than one. I, I think I got pulled over like 14, 15 times. I beat them all in court. Really? Yeah, but I still have to do the road marches. But I, but that one speeding thing when I, I was drag racing on on post housing, doing seventy eight and a twenty five. <laughs> oh, that's the one I remember. Yeah, I got pulled over, and I beat that court uh, that ticket in court. But I had long since done the fifty three mile road march. <laughs> Reminds me of my buddy Oliver going seventy through a twenty five zone, and then he takes me to a Taco Bell. Hey, uh, can we get a Big Mac with some fries and a, and a Coke? The fuck you talking about? <laughs> no, you, you don't have Big Macs here? Uh, it's Taco Bell, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Y'all got any fries with that? <laughs> Dude, it was weird. Yeah, it's weird. But the funniest part is the Sergeant Major Leon Guerrero. Because <clears throat> like, I didn't say nothing. I thought it was going to blow over. Friday, the following week, rolls around. Dun, dun, dun. Sergeant Major Leon Guerrero sends his runner, shows up on the third floor, goes see Sergeant, Ma uh, Sergeant Diedrich, and then uh, you know he leaves, and then Diedrich rolls out into the hallway. Pop! Boo! 
I stick my head out the door and goes, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So I went in there, and I'm like, I kind of was speeding mm. last weekend. Well, how fast were you going? I was doing 78 and a 25. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you ruined my whole goddamn weekend! Oh, my God, he was furious. <laughs> furious. And I had to walk around the impact area twice. And you'd already given away all your German scat porn, otherwise you'd have totally gotten away with it. No, man, I, there's no way. You're not getting anything over Leon Guerrero. That guy was a great, <laughs> great sergeant major. He was great. Damon Wolf MGTOW with another $20 donation. Thank you very much. Butterball, Irish cream, and butterscotch liqueur, half and half in a shot glass. That's, that needs to be in a glass. That's, that's a lot of stuff to put in a shot glass. You know what? We need Irish cream, and then I can make you an oatmeal cookie shot. All right. Well, I'll buy some. If you want to talk about a shot that is the ultimate in foo foo drink shots, you know I'm going to get it now. I know. I know. I I, I love that shot. I love foo foo drinks. And the funny thing is, is that I don't even like oatmeal cookies, but that shot is fantastic. All right, what do we got going on here? One eight hundred dumb. I think it would be an appropriate present for Blakey. He <laughs> he. Our birthday lad. He's vulnerable, Pop. Love you, chaps, and all the boys. What's what, what's an appropriate birthday present? If I shave off your eyebrow. Oh, no. I wouldn't do that. No. That'd be bad. No. That, that's some fucking I know shit. where you live. Like, when you're young and stupid, it's funny. But when you get older, <laughs> you're like, yeah, you fucker. Yeah, you fucker. It's not like I got to go for a job interview or anything. But no, but still. Like, I, if... I do have to film a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> I'd show up and be like, hey, how you doing? What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you talk? What? what? <laughs> oh, oh, that that's that's nothing. <laughs> ah, it's just fucking it's around. It's just fucking around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Terrence Pop ever put cayenne pepper in a condom after use? No. And then a waste paper basket. Told a buddy to do this. Oh my god! His girlfriend went to the emergency room. These things happen. Robert Howell, thank you for that one. Well, now you know what's ha well, now you know what she's trying to do to you, bro. I, I'm an advocate of horseradish because it looks the same inside of the uh, balloon animal. If you know what I mean. Yeah, you need to cut away, bro. Cut away. Get out of the. Get out of here. Get to the chopper, you fuckers. Ah, <laughs> uh, so go. I was going to make a COVID joke, but. 99.98% of you wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, where'd he go? Critical Texan. Think Pop's dyslexia might be getting contagious. It was the crackheads who told my local gun shop I was a tourist as revenge for getting told to F off. Hmm. Well, well, you don't say shit like that at the gun store. Those guys take that shit serious, man. I yeah, know. It kind of reminds me of Friday the 13th. Part like, if you're ever going to see some crazy ass shit like that, you don't do it at the gun store, at a police station, or or anywhere where people will hear you. No, that'd be bad. That's a nice. That's a nice. What? We're going to keep moving on down the line. That's a bonkers. It's a bonkers. Uh, what do we got? Where are we at now? <laughs> Mylar Matt 499. Pop, as for the corrugated steel, you didn't steal. The correct term is reappropriated it. That's exactly what I did. Yes. Yeah, I got some good shit for that. Yeah. For my unit, of course, not, not for me. Of course. No, no. All, all of the reappropriating I did was always to, like, meet mission, you know, make soldiers safer, or... You know, have comfort for them or save their lives. Of course. I mean, it's, dude, that's a wheel and dealing motherfucker. We're going to get to the last few cheaper super chats here. All right. Tracy Wilborn, 357. Blake, if you were in a German guy Scheisse video, you'd tell us, right? Maybe. Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> There's only one sort of video like that of me that exists. It was my horse chick. Not that I held on to that anything for or anything for insurance purposes, because she likes to talk shit. I'm just saying. Yeah. 
Just saying. Tracy Wilborn, you never heard of Billy West? No. Ren and Stimpy both. Oh, okay. Right, never heard that. of him. There are troubles over. It is we who are your fire dogs. Even Ren and Mikkel. Shut up, you fool. <laughs> he's a good man, but he's not quite right in the head. Philip J. Fry, Professor Farnsworth, Zoidberg, and Zap Brannigan, all on Futurama. Ah, oh, you bastard. I didn't even I didn't, look when I threw that one. I didn't one even see that one. Good one. Yeah. Arrow Shogun, what do you call a robot with a sex change? I have no idea. A transformer. <laughs> yeah, it's accurate. Too. What do you call that robot when getting a sex change reversed? Huh. A former trans. <laughs> Why don't Chinese people believe in a big brother? The one-child policy over time makes it feel like a myth. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. It's all accurate. And Jake Duke with a $50 donation. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Happy birthday, Blake. When is the one chip challenge? Well, because Pop is a pusillanimous pussycat when okay. it comes to certain things like Mr. Medicare videos. I'm not doing any of that, that challenge stuff. You're no. doing it. I can't. Do it. I can't do it. Do it. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I tried the five wing ghost pepper challenge. <laughs> I spent the next day on the toilet. I was really, I was tempted to wipe my ass with ice cream. It was so terrible. <laughs> it was bad. It bled. It was terrible. In the in the description of every video, there is a P.O. box for Redonculus.com Productions. If you send Pop the strongest exotic liquor you can find, if he does a shot of that, we're talking, I'm not talking like uh, Italian limoncello, that's the good stuff. He has to take like five shots of that before it actually works. No, I'm talking like, you're talking like the 198 rain alcohol, yeah. ever clear, stuff that. like that. Yeah. Then, if he does that on camera, I will do the one chip challenge and proceed to wipe my ass with ice cream. But that is not going to be on camera. <laughs> Unless it's on alt tech only, yeah, I hear no one, you. I hear no one you. needs to see that. No, no, bad, bad news bears, bad news bears. Mylar Matt. Oh, I already used that. I'm sorry. Irish lover seventy seven forty five. Pop, you have a phallic projectile drinking device behind your shoulder. I know. I just saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting there the whole time since I threw it earlier. Winning. Nice. So, yes, the one chip challenge will happen. You know, I, I think it's going to be a temporary thing, so I'll order it soon. And then when we finally have an alcohol worthy. You're going to die. Of standing. I'm not going to fucking. Well, fuck you, bro. I'm just saying. It's bad. You're bad. It's, listen, it comes in a one chip in a. It's, sealed. It's, it's a bag in a coffin. I get it. it. Oh, it's going to be bad. It's like. I'm going to have like a tub of frozen yogurt right here. And I'm going to have like no, no. a carnation instant breakfast glass. It's beyond that. <laughs> it, it's, it, this is not going to be good, man. One million scovels. Dude, it's no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't yeah, I had a spicy lunch. Had a spicy lunch yesterday. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. I like spicy shit. This is going to go way beyond that, bro. It probably will. No, it will. But There's no probably here. I, I'm just it saying. It will F you up bad. Oh, you think so? I'm going to have to bring an EpiPen. Maybe give you some Benadryl so you don't die. Just just trying to help you out. But. There we go. It is time to end this stream with a safety briefing. All right. As usual, don't drink and drive and don't drink and swim. Wear a condom and take it with you when you leave or flush it down the toilet. Never leave it in the waste, ba waste paper basket <laughs> because that's how unwanted children happen. I'm just saying. And if you have to leave it in the waste paper basket because they live in a place where you cannot flush the condom, then please, for the love of God, put some horseradish in it. So that at the very least, you get a very interesting call from their OBGYN. And don't forget, the Democratic Party, especially Biden's my ass and Kamala's my balls. And if you don't believe in what we're talking about, then you taint paying attention. <laughs>
And this goes out to all the Democrats out there who actually voted for Joe Biden. All 15 of you. F you and all your motherfucking friends. <coughs> Give a f if y'all in kindergarten, I'll whoop y'all motherfucking ass. That's why Santa Claus ain't real. B That's why I f your mama. I'll f up all your kids. I don't care, goddammit. Huh? Prove it to me. Prove it to me. That's why you ain't going to Disney World. B f you and your friends. F all y'all. <laughs> Have a good night. I hope you're at least half as drunk as I am. Take it easy. Where where is it?